All right, here we are back for our 13th open bracket this time, right? We, this is actually our, it's turned out to be our biggest bracket ever. We have 47 entrants today, almost at 48, but I couldn't quite fit in some, uh, someone right right before the, the starting the starting gun there. Regardless, uh, how long for DQ again? 50, uh, 10 minutes. If they don't show up in 10 minutes and you at them, right? We send them down to the other side of the bracket. If we don't, if they don't show up in 15 minutes, we shoot them entirely, right? 10 minutes, go down to losers. 15 minutes, get eliminated from losers. Is, is, is what, unless you've notified me well in advance and can stick to your word. Uh, Okay. But anyway, yeah, we got forgiven on the Eustace. Why am I on stream? Why am I on stream later? Uh, because you're the next round. You don't have anyone to play right now. Your next round will be on stream, though, Steeler. Yeah, Eustace, forgiven. Yago on Vayne, who apparently everyone, everyone tells me. I, I thought Yago just played Fairy, but uh, people were saying earlier in the chat they only someone said they only ran into him on uh, on Vayne on ranked, which is interesting because I've run into Yago multiple times, and every time they were playing Fairy, so it's possible that I'm having uh, that I'm having uh, you know. A stroke, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Going pretty pretty decently for them so far. Take the first round down there versus Forgiven. It's kind of, again, this is sort of the uh, the, the the strange sort of... I mean, Eustace is not a zoner. He's kind of... He's, he's, he's like Uno a little bit. Right? It says that both of them can. Like, they can definitely do projectile stuff. They can definitely zone out. But also, they, they do have some, some pretty decent, like, rush down mix options up close. Right? So, it, they're, they're both kind of weird, versatile, all-rounder characters, I suppose. But I don't, I don't really know. This does not seem to be going, going super well for Forgiven here, just in terms of trying to stand and bang with uh, Yago at the full screen. Right? Like, like Eustace does not seem to be able to really... Yeah, he doesn't seem to be able to really tango with uh, with Vayne at full screen distance here. Yep, yep. The energy destructions are causing some big problems for him as Yago takes that first game down. So, best of three. So, you know, at least one more game to play here, but... We shall see. Got that prismatic wedding suit Eustace going on, too. You'd love to see it. Slow kick. Okay. Yeah, I mean, so Vayne, Vayne is an interesting character, right? Because, funny enough, like he, not nothing, none of what he does, like really functions together, to be honest with you. But again, that's fair. Right? I feel like, like it is a big. It's, if if Vayne, if Vayne was like really good and cohesive and strong, it would. Ooh, baby, it would be, it would, he would be a very, very toxic character, right? So it makes sense. Like a lot of his stuff just has like glaring holes in it uh, in, in his gameplay because he, he kind of needs to be. Otherwise, he would just dominate the video game probably. But it's right. It's, it, on the bright side, if you are going to sit there and stand at full screen, probably. He is, he is probably pretty decent in into like other zoners, I imagine, right? Because the, the biggest problem with Vayne is that his shield is supposed to keep you out. Kind of just like doesn't do that. Unless you're like a very, some very specific characters have, have trouble with it, right? But in general, you just kind of can just like, you just dash through it. If you have a neutral skip button, a lot of them get through it pretty decently too, if you're close enough to him, right? But if you're just going to stand on the other side of the screen, I mean, it's a, energy destruction is a pretty nice like full screen move to just poke you out. Yeah, it's spot dodgeable, but if you're committing to projectiles or something, it's not going to go very well for you. And we're seeing it right here. Oh, he didn't have the extra meter. That was a bit of a fumble there. Actually, just gives Forgiven a window back in. Slow kill. Tons of... Oh, my God. So much ship coming out. And the 6-6-M six, six right away. Such a good commitment from Forgiven there. Obviously, Yago was trying to uh, blow them up for trying to chip him out, right? I think that was an energy destruction they got hit out of in the startup there, right? So they were trying to... They were assuming that this person's going to try and chip me out, right? So I'm just going to hit them with a big full screen move to blow them up, hitting their projectile. Not what happened, though. Not what happened. Forgiven just ra ran in for the 6-6-M. Six, six, a very bold choice, but it works out great for them there. So they stay, they're, they're still oh, not quite on set points for Iago yet. Yeah, I mean, the, the aerial energy destruction there is also, he's, as he's trying to get through the shields, projectiles getting blown up by that quite a bit. Okay. I was going to say, yeah, luckily for Forgiven, just about literally everything has, uh, everything Vayne has is minus on block. So, like, you can't, it, oh, nice air throw, though, goddamn. I was going to say, so if he is just pressuring you with wild beat or something in the corner, yeah, he'll be spaced out, but, like, you can, you know, take your turn back to an extent, uh, depending on what on how you do it. Great air throw, though, trying to catch him jumping over the shield there from Yago, And now, set point. So let's see. Okay. Shield goes down once again. Aerial, yeah, I mean, he's, he's been doing those aerial, uh, yeah, aerial engine instructions there every single time which puts the shield down. You gotta, you gotta switch up your tempo a little bit here if you're forgiven, I think. If you wanna, if you wanna throw him off, not make him feel like it's such a guaranteed hit, right, every time he does that. Okay, DP, sure. Use this, of course, non-meter, uh, non-meterless DP, right, 50% meter DP there. So you could use it again, technically, if, he, if he's feeling, if he's feeling feisty. That's a lot of resources down the drain, though. Old slow kill, probably a better a better use of them there. Nice air stall. So people people always tell you the one thing. I mean, I mentioned yeah. In general, Vayne doesn't really do very much, but what he does do really well is kill you for jumping at him, right? So very solid air stall by forgiven there. But here we go. This you know, don't you just love when I get to show and not tell? That's uh, that's exactly what we're talking about, right? It was a great air stall earlier, right? But yeah, the the one thing Vayne is really good at one thing, and it is killing you for jumping at him, right? So. That was a that was even more damage than it looked like. He just died. his health bar ran out. That could have done so much more damage. That anti-air there. He can get 10k off of anti-airs 
yeah, exactly. He had like 4k damage to spare. Exactly. He can get like 10k off an anti-air free if he's got meter. So, unfortunate for forgiven there, but you're trying to train him. That's fair. Yeah, with, with the air stall. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, I think I think he just might have reacted to you falling down instead, though. Regardless, that is that is uh, Yago taking that one down. Well done by forgiven, of course. Not uh, tough, tough, tough first uh, first round draw there, but they do still put on a good show. And they're still in it, right? They just head down to the side of the bracket to, to go to go fight their way through. Yago now moving on, obviously, to winners round two. So great stuff from them. All right, here is our next match, and uh, this is actually losers uh, winners round two, rather I should say. We've got Steeler on the Able here versus Kicks on the UL. So this is going to be interesting for sure, just because honestly, I don't think I've ever I I don't think I've ever seen this matchup. I think this might be the first time I've ever seen this matchup. Most that's mostly UL's fault. That's mostly UL's fault for being uh, for being very rare. Oh, we don't spot dodge two one four U. I mean, classic, it, 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 is, it kind of preys on your muscle memory, right? Of just like see blue spot dodge. So many of the moves in this game, you see blue, you're supposed to spot dodge, but not there, unfortunately. Okay. Command Grab's got a whiff straight up. That's going to be nice damage coming out here from Kicks. Yeah, you all can do some pretty decent damage in the mid screen if she spends, if she wants to spend some meter, right? That's not bad. I mean, it's on able, of course, so it looks bigger than it actually is. But I mean, I mean it's on able. It counts. That's Tyrant. So true. Oh, man, nice. The spot dodge once again, just a little bit. Yeah, so spot dodge is a decent strategy against a couple of different things that Abel does, but a lot of his stuff does recover pretty damn fast, right? So spot dodge on the dive kick there. Get Well, often, not all the time if you do it early enough, but yeah, a lot of the times it does end up getting punished. Plus, I mean, you can't spot dodge command grab anyway, right? In mid-screen like that, so it works right there, right? But uh, in mid-screen like that, honestly, like, jump will just beat both options anyway. So maybe that might be a safer option for Kicks to go for there. I mean, he, you know, Kicks does love his spot dodges. We know this. Ooh, he gets a combo off that, off of a crouching hit, huh? Or is it off of, is it, it's off of stand, uh, standing too? I mean, crouching gives you an extra frame of hit stun, if you were not aware, right? It's something that's like plus six on hit if hit someone standing. Will be plus seven on hit if hit him crouching. Oh no, Kicks dropping the kill confirm there. Unfortunate for him. Once again, the command grab whiffed. Oh, probably comboed off of that again, right? It's like he, like he did last time. A couple of unfortunate drops here for Kicks. Let's hope it doesn't give Steeler a way back into the game, and it's not gonna. You know, a couple, couple of drops, a couple of drops, it happens, that's fine. The important thing is, they, they did manage to seal it out, they had enough of a lead, they still got there. He made it in time? Oh, okay, awesome, good to hear, Faith. I mean, we are about, we are at about shooting you time, but yeah, if you get, get, get going, get, get on your match there. Okay. Take it all in. Oh my god, this far H. I mean, you can. That is one of the things about UL backflip, right? It is a pretty decent, like, you can, you can flip out and do a bunch of tricky stuff with it, but you can just hit her on the way in for a lot of those follow-ups if you have a big enough button that's active enough. Uh, and, I mean, certainly, able far H counts. There was there was a risk of getting counter it there, for sure, but that, that is a that is a valid answer if you can react, if you weren't if you weren't caught. You already did your first match? Wonderful. Yeah, if, if you weren't caught in something with a lot of recovery. Oh my god, that was, like, literally, that, that has to be auto-timed, right? So you, can, you cannot throw people meaty in this game because you get so much, uh, you don't spot dodge that, unfortunately. Four kicks, yep. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a bad habit. It's, well, it's not really a bad habit. It's a good habit against every other character in the game, right? But yeah, unfortunately, spot dodging there is not gonna is not gonna work out on uh, able to one for you. You know, Kicks was matching up on that command grab? Uh, he would've, he would've, he would've jumped if he was. He probably, he probably, uh, he probably was not, is my guess. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, like, so yeah, that was very, I wonder if that's like an auto-timed command grab setup, right? Because it's usually very difficult to find those since, yeah, we're not very difficult, but it's like unintuitive to find those because uh, people have 11 frames of throw invincibility on wake up, right? Uh, in this game. So you cannot meaty throw something. But that command grab, it looks like it hit just about as early as it possibly could there. That was very good timing by Steeler on that command grab. Regardless, in game two here, already going to take this first round down. Good all able corner combos. Won the neutral early on, push kicks to the corner, and now here we are. One more combo after that. Able, able, definitely. I mean, this is kind of a two-touch game sometimes with a lot of characters. Uh, able, able will usually, if if he gets his way, at least make it a two-touch game. Counter hit round start six six H. This is such a a risky option for Avatar right? because of that thing. Unlike every other six six H, like you can't space that out to make it safe or plus or whatever, right? But it is like it just it is his best combo starter. Basically, oh, I think you're dead. I was talking about how yeah, I mean, able usually does make this a two-touch game. Right, if, if he gets if he gets his proper starters, this is certainly going to be a two-touch game right here. Unfortunate for kicks, by the way. Just like look at how much damage Abel has not been touched by UL in this round, right? Abel did not get touched by UL that round, and he's at half health. Uh that would have been a perfect if it wasn't for him playing Avatar Belial. But yeah, I mean, sometimes it happens. That is that is some very high octane, very high risk gameplay that Steeler does there. You could look at that and be like, oh yeah, he just absolutely murdered him, right? 668, that was domination. No, that was a gigantic risk that Steeler took, and it just worked, right? Like 668 rounds start like that. It could win you the game, it could lose you the game, pretty much, right? Um, but, it, it, you know, 
Worked out pretty pretty decently there. Abel got himself to 40% by himself. Oh yeah, for sure. U6 Sage round star two, by the way. Abel's Abel's just a little bit better, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, if, in in the clash of of uh, six six H, it happens. Regardless, uh, good stuff to to Steeler and Kicks there. Kicks, of course, still in this. Just heads down to the side of the bracket, but you know it is what it is for now. We'll see how they how they manage to run through it as they go on. All right, we are back for our next match. And you know what? I promise it just kind of worked out. Uh, I, I just picked I picked the losers bracket matches pseudo pseudo at random. Though you can like if you if you pay attention to how the bracket goes, like you'll know roughly which one uh, where where who goes where, right? But regardless, we do have kicks again here. We got kicks on the UL. We just saw them in in that oh in that match versus Steeler here, and now they're versus oh Leaf on the Vera VP whiffs. No huge punish coming out from Leaf though. So that's good for kicks. Rating strike conversion gonna miss, unfortunately. The the low follow-up there actually from that distance, I believe, is if not is this okay, I was getting this this counters skybound arts, doesn't it? Yeah, like th th there's no rule that like skybound arts just like bypass UL stance or anything. So I'm like, wait, I'm pretty sure this is really bad here. Just, uh, watching watching UL stance up right that, waiting for the SVA. Um Okay, sure. So round one goes down to, to kicks, we take those. But yeah, that, that low follow-up from from UL out of the backflip is I think up, really up close, it's like punishable, right? But then I think I think from distance that the kicks did it there was at least still minus, right? But Leaf just kind of respected it a bit too much. Maybe not aware. You well not a super common character, right? So maybe not fully aware there of uh, oh that might that might have been his turn. Got thrown out of it and bad things happened at that point. Okay, UDP fine. Gets a safe jump off of this, I believe. Or okay, a mini arrow set up into 66M. Sure, Scarlet Oath. Good old corner. Uh, Vera's mid screen. Excuse me. Vera's mid screen is not very scary until she gets her install, right? So even off of like what well, was a relatively decent starter there, didn't get too much off of it, right? Sure. I mean, the chance here for Leaf for sure, though even just a DP will be the end of them if they if they walk into a DP from Kicks, or if they get swept by that's that two U looks like a two U to me. That was a two M, I guess, because they, they flew back in a different uh, a different angle than it would have been before the sweep. You all you all a bit of a blind spot for me for sure. I, I fought a lot more U L recently, though I will say there's one master U L uh, Untoten who I just keep running into like like I went from fighting like no U Ls at all to, to like fighting just Untoten, but I fought Untoten like like nine or ten times somehow Diva in the past in the past like a uh, couple weeks. So I have a little bit more U L experience than I did you know last month. Uh, how did Steelers match go? Yeah, he he he, he played like an absolute uh, madman and he won. Round starts six six H. We love to see it. Okay, cool. DP, getting out of that situation is Leaf. Oh, two, three, six, U though, and the wall bounce. Nice little combo. That is something, it is, like that That move is on the bright side. The U skill slowdown is one of the big things, sort of separates that move from the H version, right? Gives it a little bit a more of ability to like uh, reach over and punish people in the middle of things, but. Ow. Round start six, six, H, my beloved. I mean, able players, they got a, able players got a, able, able, I suppose. Loane, I guess too, right? Loane with the cross ups. Okay, plus, yeah, so that overhead follow up though, I think it's actually plus from UL. Oh, counter hit 6 6 H, almost an able uh, moment, but no such luck there from Leaf that time. Okay, good old UL air stall. DP once again coming out from Leaf. I mean, honestly, if you're kicks, I don't think you're too mad about getting hit by all these DPs at the end of the day, right? It's not like it's, it's not really, it hasn't cost him anything, really. DP, like just getting hit by DP is not really that high reward for the person who hit you. I mean, besides the fact that they get out of the situation is the big thing. But even still, like a lot of times we'll still be in the corner. It'll still be kind of bad for them. Regardless, I don't think you lived it. Oh yeah, no, you're dead as hell. Never mind. I was underestimating how much damage that combo did, especially with one brave point into zero brave points on Leaf there. So unfortunately for them, that is going to be Kicks taking a 2-0 over him on the UL right there. So pretty, pretty good stuff from Kicks, making it a little bit deeper into the bracket. Of course, I mean Leaf S rank versus Master. You know what happens? It happens. Um, but still, well done. I mean, also they, they put a pretty decent fight on that Vera, right? So good, good to them. No, no shame in it whatsoever. And Kicks moving on in loser side of the bracket. All right, oh god, all right. Here we are with immediate round start. Uh, Missed Finer blowing up uh, far H there, but yeah, here we are back with out, back with uh, more here in, in our winner's side of the bracket. We've got Luca on the near and Besu on the Armaya. Besu, I think actually, so both of these guys, uh, Luca has crossed three thousand gems. I don't think, I don't think, I think that's a relatively recent occurrence from what I from what I remember looking at. And Besu also, this one might not be quite as recent, uh, but Besu also hit Master on an arm. Uh, he might have been there for a couple of weeks, I'm not sure. But regardless, both of these guys having some big progress recently. Let's see how Besu oh, can can hold up to the wave of near here. We haven't gotten a chance to see it yet in the uh, like in the general match we've gotten on stream, but like uh, our top eight seeds, like assuming that everything goes according to projections of the seeding, right? It's like it's like four people of the top. Oh no, you're dead! God damn! Unfortunate. That was like I think that was just a guard button check, right? I think that was Luko just not hitting the guard button there. He you saw him walking towards uh, walking towards Narmaya. So I think he just wasn't blocking the right direction there. Got crossed up. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be hitting that guard button, man. Or else uh, bad things gonna happen. 
Look using my throwback. I'd love to see it. I, I didn't even notice, man. That's how you know I don't. Near, near, near is too complicated. I didn't even notice that he was doing a throwback. Um, but yeah, regardless, what I was gonna say is, if uh, if if the seating goes according, if, if the matches go according to the seating, like our top, like one, two, three, and five or something like that are all near. So we'll see if Basu can try to hold the tide back, the the near tide of this bracket. He's our he's our first our first uh, attempt at it here on stream. Six six M. Uh oh. Yeah, you are. Oh no, you're not dead. The weird that, that does happen sometimes. Right? If, if a raging strike, raging strike will hit pretty high above you, right? So it actually can hit people who are almost on the other side of you, especially if they're extending their hurt box or like a Ju or something like that. But the raging chain does not have that same sort of privilege. So it, it happens. It's not super uncommon actually. It happens. Uh, I probably see it like you know, well, at least once a week or something like that, where where so, yeah, someone someone will just like raging strike and the raging chain will whiff clean. It looks very funny every time. Sometimes you can combo off it too if they're high enough above you, but. Oh, nice. Just the, the walk up, the walk up jab there, the boob hitbox coming out. Good corner carry coming out with the ultimate skill here. Decent damage too. Near, of course, a 15k HP character too. So, you know, everything hurts a little bit more on her than it would on anyone else. 2 to you whiffing there. Oh, nice. Didn't didn't fall, didn't hit the guard button, but was ready at least for the reaction check of that little teleport there. Won the clash too. You got canceling into throw there, unless the deep, basically loot beats everything that isn't a DP or a super. Speaking of throws though, Grappler and Armaya coming out. It's on the 6XL hitbox brick, it's 5L. I said boob hitbox, not 6XL hitbox. I might have said 6XL, but I was thinking boob hitbox in my head at least. That's that's the words I was trying to say. It's it. Because they, they hit him with a 5L. The, 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 it was a walk up 5L. It wasn't a 6XL. The thing that, uh, that counter hit Luca and put him into the corner there. Anyways, yes, boob hitbox is crazy. Yeah, it was a 5L they hit him with, not a 6XL. That's why I said it. Out, out. Okay, in the corner against Nier. That's how it goes sometimes. The 236M, he has set up for a, a million plus frames there, media as hell on the 236M. That 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 move is so funny, man. 236M is like, it, assuming it's not like it, it's that shit's like plus, I forget. I always forget the number. It's like it's a funny number, man. It's like plus 60 or 52 or something like that. Have to be tripping then, seeing things. I could be wrong too. I, I thought I thought it was a 5L anyway, which is why I said that. Out, out. Okay, so I was talking about earlier, right? Near her average damage off of just about any hit tends to be very high. And you know, you might usually after that LDP launches there, you're looking out for a 50-50 of like a high-low. Not twice in a row, not like this. Plus 86? That's incredible. That's funny. Yeah. Um, but usually when, when Nier sends you up with that light DP, right? You're you're waiting to maybe guess high or low, right? On the on a 50-50 there. But yeah, 6XM is certainly an option. Just like crossover low is an option. It is not those are more reactable. It's not like a true mix. But like there it, there really is uh like there there are so many different ways the Nier can mix you up off that landing. That looked painful. It, it was painful. He died. He died in, in basically one hit into two 50-50s there. It is what it's what, one of the nearest biggest strengths for sure is ability to 50-50 you off of almost any hit that she gets in mid-screen here. Okay. Grappler and Armaya coming back out. We are tied one to one. I mean, Basu won that first game. Luca took the second one back in relatively commanding fashion. Gets hit out of his U flip there. Gets hit out of 2 2 U there. Rare footage of 2 2 U doing anything except just winning the game. What you won versus B lagging? God damn, good stuff, Melody. That was definitely not how you'd expect that to go. I'm proud of you. Okay, 236U whiffing out there. Same thing with the transient though. It's kind of both both players kind of spent the resource, not kind of waiting waiting to try and build them back up. Both of them obviously one one good hit away from death on either side. Speaking of good hits, that is gonna do it. Yep, with the raging strike, raging chain, good stuff by Luca there. All was about to run out of death, but didn't really need it, right? As long as you got the, the brave points on near, even if you have no death at all, you can get some amount of damage at least out of those conversions. And that's exactly what Luca does right there. Sure, far H. Whiffing, but 214H got my back with the bra on the bright side. The run up low there in case you were too hyper fixated on 6XM, which is a good idea, right? Because they did hit Beisu with that 6XM twice in a row and they won uh, the game off of it last time. So the idea of just like run up low in case they were instead of reacting to 6XM, they're trying to preempt 6XM, which you shouldn't do. You should uh, just trust yourself to react to it, even though it can be a little bit difficult sometimes. Beisu not biting though, but I think they are maybe so dead? I don't know. What do you guys think? I think you might. No, he's alive. He's alive. Combo limit. If they, if they had, like, one more Brave Point and 25% more meter, maybe, but... Oh, okay. But just the close L call-out on the approach there is going to be more than enough. Just close L, close L into the auto combo. Good stuff by Luca there. Taking that one down 2-1. to one. Narmi in shambles. What's going on, Anu? Hello, hello. Uh, I'll take last game, last round versus Uno. That's far better than me. Hey, good, hey, good job, Melody. You're clearly... You're, you're playing you're playing clean today. No doubt about it. But yeah, good stuff by Luca and Basu there. Basu, uh, this is winner side of the bracket. So Basu, again, once again, still in it. But yeah, a little, bit, a little bit of an unfortunate second game there, right? Just ended up getting uh, kind of schmixed. And then by that point, I think Luca had a bit of the momentum on his side, so. 
All right, here we are back with our next match here. This is actually this is our first loser side match, right? So, in this case, we have, we have finally every time someone's lost so far, I've been like, yeah, you know, they're still in it, they're still in it, but no, this is for your life right here. So let's see. This is Schmertle on the Beatrix versus John Graham Blue, aka Impaired Rice Scratch, which is really just a name and a half. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, both their like their name Discord and their in-game tag are just both amazing. Uh, but they are on the Uno here. So let's see how this goes. I mean. In theory, I think on paper, I believe, I, I actually missed it, but I'm pretty sure, oh, I'm pretty sure Rice Rat is a master rank Uno. Of course, you know, the spectate mode is not doing me any favors right now. So on paper, you know, Schmertle has a bit of a, a wall to climb here, but at the same time, at the same time though, right? Beatrix is uh, pretty historically, I mean, it's not, it hasn't been that long to be history, right? But Beatrix, it seems pretty good against pretty much every, every character that has a projectile and wants to try and zone you out. To be fair, one of Uno's big strengths is that he doesn't have to play Really, any way, regardless. He, he he's a very he can play just about any any sort of grand blue. He's not the best at any of it, but he can play uh, just about offensive, defensive, zoning, right, neutral based, po uh, footsies, kind of poke based, right, Ru like a little bit of rush down mix up every now and then, right. So uh, impaired rice might be the one of the names of all time, indeed. So like he doesn't have to try and he, he can meet to be a tricks in a place where it's a little bit more advantageous for him. One thing that I always say about Uno is because he's a rare character. I think a lot of people might might not be aware. He sucks everything he does, I see. Uh, yeah, like, no, he's he's about average at most things and above average at a couple of things. But he's not, he's not, like, his versatility is one of his big points, basically. If he's fighting a zoner, he can zone them out better, you know, because he's actually very good at anti-zoning. If he's fighting Beatrix, he doesn't have to zone, right? On, like, a character like Fairy or something, who's, like, kind of stuck, like, what are they going to do? Like, yeah, you can't play, really play rush down Fairy against Beatrix. But Uno actually has a, really, a bunch of really good ways to, to pressure, right? He can, he can get plus frames off a lot of his special. He's got a very, very scary throw bait that is both plus on block and leads to a pretty nasty full combo. He does pretty good damage in the corner if he gets, if he gets like a good starter, or that throw bait being a good starter, for example. So like it's, it's more so that he's average to above average at most things, but amazing at nothing. Except maybe his parry's pretty fucking good. That's about it though. Okay, oh no punish on the 2-2-H. I mean, on my minus six there, we saw he got a punish earlier. Just hit the button a little bit too late that time though. Just messing with you. I'm an Uno main. Even even ever, even if it's in battle, still never switch. Oh, so true. Yeah. So you know you know you know what I'm talking about. Strike through Uno, uh, Uno is 95% throw, 5% strike. Yep, yep. Yes, exactly. Uno is capable of playing all areas of the game, which is why I feel like even though traditionally you might be like, oh, Uno, Uno is, is you know a character who can zone pretty well, right? So Beatrix might be might have an advantage here. He doesn't have to play the zoning game. The one thing though that he is an unironic weakness in all aspects of his game though is he. Ooh, nice. The light DP. Good punish there. It's obviously minus enough to be punished, but still. Bit of a bit of a check there to make sure that Rice Rat was what was looking out for it. Um, one thing is Uno is just fucking slow, man. Like everything he does is just really, really slow. So that's one place where Beatrix called him. Beatrix is I would not call Beatrix slow by just about any stretch of the imagination. So that is one thing that maybe Schmertle can try and take advantage of here as as Rice Rat takes his first game down. Try to overwhelm him with just with just pure pure frame data and and, and move speed. Yep. I mean, uh, unreactable. Uh, you know, 35, 75 percent of the screen low. That, uh, that that does leads to a full combo with Clock. That seems pretty good. He's the opposite of Usus, I say. Usus excels at rushdown. Is okay at anti zoning. And yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean honestly, I think I think Uno is just better than Usus. I think Uno's maybe <laughs> outside of oh god. Okay, there you go. Hey, Shrotel, by the way, taking that round down. Besides uh, besides U grenades, which is obviously a huge like rush. It's not really. It's more of a set play like mix sort of option for Usus. I think Uno is just like probably better than Usus at rushdown also, and better than him at zoning. Uh, I think Uno's just a, uh, like Eustace and Uno seem like similar characters to me, and Uno's just a better version of them, to be completely honest with you. Though I might, I might be underselling Eustace. Eustace is a big blind spot for me. I don't know a whole lot about Eustace. Eustace is probably the character that I fought the least, actually. Now that I think about it. Okay, far H there coming out. Nice conversion. Ooh, I like the far L there. Poking, poking with the big old spear. He is John Grambler. Got Schmertle in the corner now. Oh, the air throw right back. You know, uh, Rice Rat has been throwing Schmertle a lot. Smurtle learning from uh, learning from their opponent right there, doing some air throws of their own, some back air throws into the corner too. Ah, but you are no, you could have you, you know you could have been dead off of that. Rice trap missing a bit of the conversion though, but the you know the sweep is going to straight up beat out two to you right there. Eustace has more sauce and some nasty gameplay slash setups. Uh, Eustace has more sauce probably yeah yeah, and obviously yeah like the U grenade setups are obvious they're they're horrifying right. Eustace has better has better yeah has better Oki like set play than uh, than than Uno does, but I think just about everything else. Uno is better at is my is my current understanding of the characters. Oh, nice two H by Schmertle. Hold on a minute. Good signs of life from Schmertle here after after you know that the first game was a little bit rough for them. Ah, but one thing you gotta know about Uno though, right? Again, there's so many with these rare characters, right? There's gonna be a lot of knowledge checks. The oh on that parry from Uno. Oh, this far H into SB SSBA is not even want to mess with any sort of scaling. But that's just SBA. Why did he do SSBA? Interesting. Huh. Well, you're dead. 
Oh no, drop combo from Schmertle, and there's the throw bait that I was talking about earlier, the jumping EX dive kick there from Uno. That was so close. That's so unfortunate for Schmertle. They, they had it too. They could have, I mean, it would have, they still had a whole other game to play. But yeah, the SBA hurt. Yeah, man. Because it was the, so the way that combo scaling works in this game is the first hit and second hit are both 100% damage, right? So the Far H and the SBA did full damage. But yeah, so unfortunate for Schmertle. They're very close to, to tying it up one-to-one. -one. It's okay, though. They played very well. I mean, yeah, Master Uno, S plus Beatrix. I think Schmertle has to be very, very proud of that. They, they really put up a really good fight there. And they, on it, right, like they were, if it wasn't for an unfortunate drop at the last minute there, they win that game straight. Like, they had it. They had they had a confirmed kill. And it happens sometimes. You get nervous, you drop combos. I'm not saying, like, what, you know, what's wrong with them. I'm just saying it happens. But they played very well. They played very well. I will far L next time. Possibly. Possibly. Schmerl's being in that master player sweat. Yeah, again, like now they were about to tie the set up one to one. So very good stuff to them. And obviously good stuff to Rice Rat as well, moving deeper into loser side of the bracket there. All right, here we are with our next match on loser side here. We've got Zeta Tummy Licker. Every time, when I have to type that into the scoreboard, every time, just a little bit of me just goes a little bit, you know, I can't believe it. But, uh, and on the other hand, we have Bandy on the Siegfried here. This is a, oh, S plus, uh, S plus Zeta, master, master Siegfried. So let's see how this goes. I have no near parents. I have to figure out stuff out myself, lol. I mean, you are the near parent now. You you are you are the parents for all the nears. Well, yeah, one of the one of the weird one of the one of the weird extended family at least. Oh no, missed the conversion off there. It's fine. For my sanity, just call him ZTL. I mean, at the same time though, I, this is that, this is how like how much I've just the brain rot has gotten me. I kind of like saying at this point, like I was at Rio, I was I was trying earlier. I kind of like saying Zeta Tummy Licker at this point. It's, it's just funny. It's a funny name. It's a funny name. Call him Goyaba. I like Zeta Tummy Licker to be honest, dude. I'm, I'm kind of a big fan. I think I might call him Zeta Tummy Licker. Tummy Licker for short. ZTL for super short if I need to. Anyway, they take that first round down there against Bane D. Good stuff. Obviously, Siegfried DP doing its thing. Zeta Tummy Licker tattooed on the forehead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means guava fruit. Oh, that's cool. Tummy indeed, yes. What's going on, Ochi? Uva. Uh oh. Goes for the low auto combo there. I wanted, wanted a hard knockdown, I guess, right? Wanted to, wasn't going to be able to kill off that combo, I suppose, in mid screen. So just wanted more of a pressure reset there. Uh oh, no, though. Misses the link. I was gonna say far H gets whiff punished by the air harvest. Your ass is dead as hell, but he missed the link. Unfortunate. Oh no. <laughs> you know, I put out a video on this just today. I put out a video on this super just today. That is why does that do that, man? Why does that do that? Why is that the only SBA that does that? Oh god, that is so funny. That is just so What a what a thing, man. What a thing. Seek SBA is dumb. It's the best SBA in the game. Yeah. Um Incredible, incredible. Oh well. Here we go. Just gotta put that one behind you and go from there. Okay, good. I mean, on the right, this this round is going pretty well for Tommy Licker so far. They're gonna get a, a resolute strike off of this, indeed. Oh, it dropped. It dropped. Privileges, man. Privileges. I guess so. Yeah. Okay, they dropped the combo, but it's still gonna work out. They should be able to kill here. Okay. Yes. No drops right there. Yeah. I think I think they have the combo meant to catch with a move and then hit SBA. But what is going on in this corner right now? Spaghetti. Spaghetti fell out of some pockets, but it's okay. With the spaghetti went back onto Zeta's tummy and they licked it up, I suppose. That's it's, so it's fine. It works out at the end of the day. It works out. They 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 handled the spaghetti. They got it back under control. Learn Braille. Based. Oh my god, just the, the run up 2L, the lows, the lows. UDP coming out. Okay, sure. Gives it that's it. Hmm. I feel like that UDP doesn't even, does even give him a safe jump because it knocks them back so far, right? Yo, Fuse, what's going on? Yeah, Fuse at one, one ten in a row, and then he decided to take a break this week. So you know, let's see, let's see who can who can win in his stead here. I wanted my top eight, man. It's a tough bracket this week, Luca. But I'm you, you, I mean, when I saw you play, and you were playing pretty well, at least. Okay, Zeta five view there. Oh my God! I was gonna say Zeta five view there leaves her minus minus two, I think, but spaced out pretty safely, right? Where she can use her big spear pokes to her advantage. Damn, rare footage of Siegfried SBA not winning. Amazing. It just didn't. It just didn't have quite the vertical reach there. That's insane. It almost works too. It was so high up in the air, and it still almost worked, which is you know, insane. But yes, it does actually. It does actually get blown up there. And I, I mean, by the way, at this point, ZTL over here, he's on set point now. So let's see. Document that. Record that. Clip that shit. Clip that shit. All right. All right. You know what? You know what, Kamachu? I'm. I, I am done with you. I'm gonna. I'll, I'll get you out of here in a sec. Just once. Once this match is done. You're simply not the kind of person that I want around here, to be completely honest with you. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, no. Goddamn. Yep. Draw. Oh, you're hitting a button, aren't you? Eyes. Oh, no, you're not. What? Oh, no conversion, though. Okay, but but you, you Infinite Wonders, got their back for sure. Owie. Yep. Okay, well. 
pretty, pretty, pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty clean, honestly, there from, I mean, at least in terms of, like, it was, that was two, was that two, two O's in a row? Like, two, two round uh, wins in a row? Regardless, very well done. Uh, some, 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 definitely some spaghetti on the combos, for sure. But, um, still, ZTL ends up taking it down. And Bandy, unfortunately for them, gets sent out of the bracket there on the Siegfried. But, well done to both of them, regardless. Siegfried SBA showed us some funny stuff, for sure, but. We will be moving on to our next match right now. All right, here we are with our next match. That's the losers, uh, sorry, winners. It's a winner's side here. So we got Lazy on the near versus Samu on the Charlotta here. Let's see how this goes. I promise you Samu is not an F5 Charlotta. They were actually, I think, Master Charlotta. So our EU Charlotta, huh? Interesting. Yeah, so it's it's, e, it's EU coming out to support Samu here. There's a bunch of people just like showed up when Samu's match started. It's telling him to, you know, it just, does this like, no, okay. That was, I was like, I, I, I could have sworn that was a little bit late there. From Lazy. But yeah, and it, it does it was it was indeed a little late. Lazy missing that link, but should maybe still be able to find this kill here? No. Bar H though. Always gonna do it. Same was EU master, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out EU, yeah, shout out EU, man. You guys, you guys uh, working working in, in in the coal mines there over in in, uh, in Grand Blues Europe servers. Nothing but respect for my presence. Ooh, 66M. Not blocked out. Was late enough though that Lazy couldn't really convert too much off of it. With the command grab and gets punished for it though. Yeah, you just crouch. When the even flip happens, just kind of crouch. And you should be you should be good to go. Obviously the overhead can hit you there from there, but it doesn't really do that much damage. And that is a pretty clean first game there from Lazy Ruin. No doubt about it. Just a couple of unfortunate. I mean, Sam went for some a, hard, a couple of hard reads right there, and they didn't quite work out. This is it's it's totally possible for him to bring this back. He just has to adapt, right? Some of the stuff you were doing was not like maybe the the Kanabu, by the way, is so funny every single time. Went for the command grab again. Yeah, see, like, I was guess like, the, the command grab there is pretty, a pretty, like, hard call out there. And if it were, if it had worked, you know, it's huge damage. But it didn't work the first time. We'll see if he sticks for it, though. We'll see if he if he sticks with it. Dude, this Kanabo sounds so funny. It's, it really is the goddamn, the Guts Berserk Sword, man. The dun, 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 dun. Okay. Okay, hold on. Good combos. Oh, no, it needed, needed the second one to be able to do the other, the other ball, right? Didn't have quite enough meter. And 2M from Nier is such a big button, man. SSBA is going to come out, and you are incredibly dead. Lazy has the dad combos in parentheses endearingly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ouch. Yep, 2M, man. Nier 2M is such a good button, man. It's so big, so fast. Converts so well. And it's definitely been blowing Samu up quite a bit here. All right, sure. 66L set point now for Lazy, by the way. Samu got robbed of that 2M. I mean, yeah, it is, it's, 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 you got to look out for Nier's grounded buttons, man. They're very, very good. It's got to be part of your game plan when you're pressuring her or when you're defending against her, too. Uh oh. All right, you're in the corner now. Get thrown. Fine. So much chip damage come out from Nier. Also, the U flip there, not really gonna, not really gonna help Samuel get out. Jumps out. Why? Well, I mean, one brave point on Lazy. Nier is a 15k HP character, and Charlotte is a lot of damage. So I was gonna say, you know, there could be a chance if Samuel gets one hit here, he very easily could turn it into a two-touch situation. But unfortunately, that is going to be Lazy taking that one down 2-0. I mean, listen. You know, lazy ruin, not no nothing nothing to to mess with on the near there. So good stuff to Samu, but unfortunately that is going to be lazy taking it 2-0 and heading down. All right, here we are back with our next match on the other side of the bracket here, and we have uh, Yago on the fairy this time versus Full Moon on the vein. So I again I know Yago as a fairy. I've only ever seen him as a fairy, and you see that the fairy has more gems in the vein. But I guess in the mirror he would he wouldn't he uh, he did play vein earlier, right? But uh, I guess he doesn't want to play vein into vein. Would rather have uh, would rather have play fairy into this. I wonder. I mean, Yago obviously would know a lot more about fairy than I would. I wonder. Does fairy like this matchup? I, in a weird way, like my 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 intuition tells me that like I actually think that Vayne would kind of like exactly this, right? Like uh, like the big problem with Vayne is that his shield doesn't do anything. But a character doesn't even want to get past the shield. A character that kind of wants to stand behind the shield and like just, uh, stand and bang with him in full screen. Vayne is so weak. I think this is in fairy's favor. I mean, fairy is also very weak, right? Both of these characters are not very good. Kinda not really. I I I'll, I'll feel like maybe Vayne would be okay with just standing at full screen. Like energy destruction should probably beat out a lot of like shield into energy destruction will be pretty good against what Vayne Vayne's trying to do, right? Vayne range moves crush fairy's whip. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So I I, I wonder if I wonder what uh, I mean again. Yago pro I, I will trust Yago's opinion on a fairy way over my just like random intuition. But the, I might I wonder why they did this instead of going for the Vayne. All fairies normals are faster than energy destruction. Yeah, but I mean if there's a shield between you and energy destruction, right? Then it's gonna be tough. I have fought this matchup quite a bit. It can be tricky. Yep, yep. Because the main problem with Vayne's shield normally is that you just run through it, right? It doesn't do anything. But yeah, if you, if you have to stand there and actually hit through it. Uh, if, if, if he might have a shield, the fairy has GG, Wilson, Wilson, and Wilson. That's true. That's true. 
Very true. Let's come case whoever gets some momentum first. I mean, yeah, like, this is obviously great for Fairy, right? With in the corner here, she can, she can run some some GG 50-50s on full moon, possibly. Okay. The frame traps with close H, and I was gonna I didn't want to say anything. I didn't want to say anything, but yeah, that is very much like that close H, close H frame trap there, the classic coming out from Fairy. This is gonna be big damage. I mean, the one thing too is like you gotta remember, uh, Vayne is definitely a harder hitting character than Fairy is, right? Fairy has the power of friends, and Vayne is all alone. And also, Fairy has 15,000 HP to Vayne's 16. So there's, there's definitely a, there's a risk-reward advantage for a full moon here. But we shall see. They're getting, getting in range for the shield. Oh, yeah, see? Breaks the shield immediately into a follow-up there. I guess what, you, what uh, I think Excelion was talking about earlier, right? How Fairy is just faster than uh, than Vayne at the full screen. So I, I could see that, in that case, that being pretty good for Iago. That might be, that might be the idea there. But even if you do hit the shield, you can just cancel into something right away before you can do anything. Ow. Oh, counter hit's gonna actually give him a combo there. Not bad. Oh, but misses the media 6XL. God damn. Unfortunate. Okay, raging strike convergence. You know how it'd be. Ow. Oh, goes. Okay, the, one, I guess fair enough. Wants to conserve the, the brave points there. That makes sense. Shield up. You skill. Wait, I feel like that that, that could have been a, that probably could have been a pretty easy punish there for full moon, right? Regardless though, he's found that this is this is death by 100 miles. Indeed, it is. Again, 15k HP fairy right there. I'm not gonna be able to take all that punishment. As Full Moon takes that first game down, one nothing. Hold on, hold on. I need to run some first ten with some Banes. I know he's a pretty good matchup for me, but I just need to figure out how. Uh, yeah, I mean the character is very—he has very rapidly become one of the rarest characters to see in game, right? Obviously, uh, on like the day he came out, everyone was playing him as as tends to be for DLC. But he like even more so than Lucilius, man. It is, it is player base lost in this bitch. Out. So like it, it is it is hard to get uh, Vayne match experience for sure. As much as I hate Lancelot, I think all matches with Vayne should have his, bo his boy wife somewhere in the background cheering him on. Perhaps, like Lunalu. Everyone discovered he's not great outside of anti-air damage. Yeah, yeah, he's, uh, you know, he's not, yeah, exactly. D you, you summed it up pretty well. Why does he have 16k HP? I would, you, I, I was certain he had 17k. When I just looked at him and how he was, like, why why does he not have, exactly, yeah. Like, how, how is Siegfried 17k, but he isn't? Look at him. The dude's built like a fucking fridge, right? No? Am I crazy? Am I crazy? Base 16k. Okay. This U shield is actually so U shield is actually a good move. Like that's a very scary move. It's got a hitbox. Can't really mess with it. It does just give Vayne a huge advantage, especially in the corner there. But didn't get too much off it there. It did full moon. The Indiana Jones. What the hell? He. I thought he had 17k. Me too. He doesn't. He has 16k. They should make the knights besides Lance 17k. Uh no. Percy's a 16k. -er. Percy's 16k. Percy's he's too he's he's too he's too pretty to be 17k in my opinion. Yeah, 16k? I know, right? You would think Vayne will be 17k. Nah. Nah. Percy's a delicate boy. That's right. he's, he's like, he's tall. Percy's tall, right? But he's not, he's not, he's not a tank by any means. He's got 17k in his build, but he get down 17, 16k in his owner? I guess, yeah. Uh, I, I suppose is the idea. Let's do this. Okay. UDP. Ow. <laughs> Man, I've been playing too much Elden Ring. I heard do it Nicola right there. Nicola is what it is, right? It's, it's Wilson, of course, does. We all know 2H. Nice stuff. By Iago there, of course. Fairies 2H is air blockable. If you're committing to a button, you are going straight to hell. You. Oh, the hell right just runs right under the shield. That's so funny. So he got 17 because he has a, a throw's worth of damage to himself, so they said give extra HP. I don't know, man. I don't think he needs it. Good stuff by Iago. Tying us up one to one there. Using the, the the pushback from the the U skill there, I think is that her, is that two, two 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 one four you? I don't know, I don't know. Ow! I love, the, I love that she just runs right under the shield. By the way, he's so he's so short, he just kind of goes right under it. If you do uh, the EX or the UGG, that's 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 that's. I mean, that's pretty good for uh, for fairy seemingly. Yeah, see, like right there, that is so funny. That is wow, that is so unfortunate for uh, for Vayne, huh? Maybe I goes on to something. Honestly, well, you really need damage boost on C. Yeah, exactly. Hellrat, indeed. Oh, God. Okay, counter hits. Energy destruction there. Jumps over the Hellrat. That is usually what you want to do. Of course, that could be that could leave you vulnerable. Meanwhile, Avatar was whole mechanics to drain HP as the least amount of HP in the game. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay, sure. Nice roll there. Side switch. I mean, you're still very... Uh, a DP should kill here. I'm pretty certain. That is so much shit. Okay, what's the move? That'll kill. Yeah, you got to spot dodge that. You got a spot dodge. They tried to. They, they, that wasn't even a chip thing, though. They just tried to. They tried to hit a button, and uh, and got blown up. I give Abel about 15 to 16k HP. I mean, if, so if he had 16k HP, he would have in real in reality about 13k. He takes about 3,000 of his own. He does have something to damage. Abel? 
Yeah, it's true. Abel hits hard for sure. I mean, for example, Siegfried does more damage though. For example, even even having uh, like you know six thousand more HP than Avatar. Okay, good stuff by Full Moon here. This is about it's this set point for Full Moon. Let me not get too far off topic here. So Yago is in danger. This is uh, this is still loser side of the bracket. If Yago loses this round, he's out of the tournament. Out. Okay, sure. He was the highest damage in the game normally. I mean, yeah, like I guess. 11k, all, res all resources spent? That's not that high. That's not that... Wait, really? That's his max? Anyway, full moon. Taking that one down right there. Amazing. Good stuff. I honestly... I, I, again, I'm, my my instinct still may maybe makes me feel like... Like, maybe that's pretty decent for Vayne, but... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Regardless. Good stuff by Yago and good stuff by Full Moon. And that is going to be, unfortunately, for Yago. This is them out of the brackets and Full Moon moving on towards... Uh, not actually quite in top 8 loose side yet, but moving, you know, firmly towards it there. So, great stuff. Great stuff. All right, here we are. Back with our... This is actually Loser's top 8 qualifier here on Loser's side of bracket, of course. we got Samu on the Charlotta, Basu on the Narmaya. You've seen how these guys... You've seen these guys play at this point. Introductions, not necessary. You know how it is. Good start for Samu right away here on a DP. Baited out immediately, too. Side swap there. Brave counter get off me. Yeah, that that, uh, that H side swap is minus, but I don't know how minus. The U one is actually punishable. Actually, it's like minus six, right? But uh, the, the H version there, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure is minus, but safe for Shalotto, if I remember correctly. U flip, gonna whiff out there, unfortunately, but gets base out of the corner at the very least, if nothing else. Out, out. Sure. Shalotto in the corner there. Oh, combo off that crouching, crouching counter hit confirm, right? Gonna be so much extra, uh, so much extra hits done there. May let Samu very easily convert off of that, take that first round down. The bonk sound is bothering me so much. Dun, 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 dun. Reminds you of uh, of the Berserk, the Berserk live adaptation. Oh, two H got counter it out of it there. I'm pretty sure is what happens. Dun, dun, dun. It's so fun, man. I, I'm a big fan. I don't think it bothers me at all. I think I, I, I do like it. I don't even know Shada had a different sound. Only on the Kanabo, uh, it seems like it's like Jita's Pan, right? Reminds you of Jita's Pan and that's bass exactly. Ow. Okay. Plus on block that follow up is. Yeah, apparently I'm Yoda now, also. I, I, don't, don't ask. Why couldn't they give Luane's champagne bottle of sounds? It'd be fun. Ooh, 6-6-H six, six, into a full combo there. Nice, it does crumple. Shout out to 6-6-H six, six, there to get a uh, full crumple state and some pretty nice damage in the mid-screen there, even. Good stuff by Sam. We're taking that first game down in honestly relatively decisive fashion. Base has got to figure something out fast here because we're, we're still rocking just best of threes, right? I didn't realize that Kanaba had the sounds, so I was randomly playing her in casuals. Yep. I guess that means we'll be banning the weapon. Uh, Probably at some point. I, I don't really care, but... If, if Avatar has normal HP, it'd be really annoying. He, well, the thing is, if Avatar had normal HP, he would still have less HP. If Avatar had 16k HP, he would have about 3... 13k, probably. Because he does about... He does about, you know, 3,000 damage to himself, usually, per match. So he doesn't have 14k. He has, like, 11k, normally. But he can guess more neutral? Sure. Definitely true. He can risk ward you a little bit more. Ow. Same on set point, by the way, again. Just being very, very, looking very confident in this matchup, very comfortable fighting, fighting Basu on this Narmaya right now. Okay, round star 66M gets back dashed out by Basu. Good stuff. Yo, Vasaraga himself. Vasaraga, thank you for the follow. Amazing. I, I loved your work on Great Scythe Grinoth or something. Oh, okay. Could have 2H there. I thought, I thought Sam was baiting that out, actually. Yo, Kimo, thanks for the follow also. I love you, period. Aw. Aw. Thanks, man. Much appreciated. Okay, brave counter. Only one brave point on Samu. Means it could be bad if Basu finds a hit, but he's not gonna find it. He's gonna find the end of this goddamn Kanabo right here, and that will be his doom on that counter hit close H starter right there. Listen, man. Great stuff by, by Basu and Samu, but Samu just looked very, very confident, very calm and, and collected in the uh, the Narmaya matchup there, right? They just knew exactly what to do, right? They were very caught. They didn't get caught by any sort of tricks, anything like that, and just kind of Basically, didn't really get to play his game that much in that match, right? Just kind of lost neutral, uh, and and uh, Sam was running his pressure very well, right? Just usually just kind of pushed base to the corner and killed him there. So, regardless, great stuff to both of them. Unfortunately, for basically, it's going to be them out of the bracket, and Sam who now moves on to loser side top eight. So, great from them. All right, it took a while. Big big tournament this week, but we made it finally to top eight here. This is our first match on loser side top eight, and once again, dude, the goddamn Kanabo, I just can't with this fucking thing. Rick too busy on the DBZ gotcha. So true. Or what the hell were they thinking with physical rose, physical rose Goku Black, and then physical like super easy A Goku Black? Like, what's wrong with super bosses, man? Fix the goddamn team, Omatsu, or I'm gonna come for you, and I'm gonna, you know, it's okay. No threats of violence on the stream. It's okay. It's fine. Regardless, 
we got back to Grand Blue. Uh, we, we, we got we got, we got Ihu Faith here, aka Faith, on the Avatar. We got Samu on the Shalada. Great two A's coming out here. Ow! Big damage. You're not dead. You're not dead. But it's very close. We, do we just have three Samu games in a row? No. We Dokkan game again here? Sometimes. Sometimes. I misjudged you. The potato is dead. Dokkan talk? Listen, no. It's okay. We got, we got, we got folks in the tournament, but someone said it, and it's, I'm just mad. Super bosses not make sense, okay? That's all I'm saying. Um, okay, nice. Good old H, H Honda headbutt there. Oh, the 2 H got counter hit that time. Yeah, unfortunate. It is one of the things, like, 2 H's in this game are relatively, like, they're reliable-ish, right? But they certainly, they certainly can. A lot of them have uh, quite a lot of startup, and they are not necessarily, like, upper body invincible or anything like that. Right? So you certainly can get punched out of them quite often. Ooh, might have actually been able to kill there if you're able to find that conversion into S S uh, SBA, right? It is Avatar Belial. That, that HP is even less than it looks like. Ow. Okay, brave counter the brave counter the brave counter. This is going to be a safe jab, unfortunately. Yep, for Samuel right there. Uh, you can't kill here, can you? Yeah, no. If, if it was like a crouching confirm or something, some Goomba stomps. But instead, who needs to get a confirm off of that hit? And we can just drop the base, make them shit their little pants right there. Charlotta shitting her little, her little princess diapers as Faith takes that first game down with Avatar Command Grab. What a funny move, man. That, that, the brown note, hit you with the brown note on the base drop there. What a, what a good time. Huh? What? Listen, man. In my head, uh, can't back this command grab, by the way. I mean, you'll get hit by the explosion box. Yeah, yeah, you gotta jump. Uh, or you can, yeah. I love when you're unhinged. Oh my god. I mean, listen, I'm, all I'm saying is, here's here's the thought process, right? He, he, that, there's like a really low note that plays when Avatar hits SSBA. In my head, that's the brown note, so it makes you shit your pants. That's it. Nice and simple. It's, it's, it's a one-step logic jump. So now whenever someone gets hit by Avatar SSBA, in my head, it's just them shitting their pants live on stream. I missed break rapid yapping hard. Well, here I am. Ow. Okay, sure. JH in the corner. Oh, no, you're just dead. Yes, yeah, keep it nice and simple. I don't even see a reason to make this. Oh, okay, no, fine. Well, I mean, can you kill him? Pro probably, right? Was another alt scale or something? Oh, my God, that was a lot closer than I thought it was. Have to be cut from the VOD? No, we're, we're 50 minutes into the YouTube video. It's okay. It's fine. We're, we're out of demonetization periods. It's okay. It's all it's all good. Ow, ow, ow. That, that was very close. I feel like maybe Sam could have just killed with, like, auto combo SSBA, to be honest with you. But they, they went for... They went for uh, they went for the, 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 the fancy, and it worked out for them, so it's okay. Ow, ow. Again, we are, by the way, we are in top eight, but we are still running best of threes all the way up until losers finals, winners finals, and grand finals, right? So, uh, this is still a best of three. So, if Faith wins this next game, that's it. Samu just is out of the bracket. They've been playing uh, crazy in the Charlotte, but they gotta be careful here. They are on death's door. So, so is Abel, though, in chip distance right now. 2 1 for you. Ben coming, maybe? No! Tried to spot dodge to hard call out some sort of chip attempt there, like a Blanca ball or something coming out from Samu, but Samu did not bite. They just wait and 6-6-M him out of the spot dodge right there. Good patience by Samu. I mean, sometimes you gotta just realize in that position, like, Samu does have a pretty big advantage. You gotta think about, like, what is the only way that I can lose here? And the only way is basically just be too predictable to just go for the chip, like, to get too thirsty for the chip kill and get killed for it, right? So good patience by Samu right there. I mean, they, they, they definitely, like, there are other ways. Like, the most likely way for him to die right there is just get called, hard called out on trying to chip out uh, Faith and just die. Uh-oh. 2H once again. All right. Hold on. He didn't have 100 meter for the Avatar State. Some big damage coming out. One break point only on Samu 2 now. It means that their defense is going to be a little bit, a little bit uh, poopy out here. Oh, close M catches you jumping. This should be... Oh, it's not this. Yeah, because no, it's not going to wall balance unless it's the EX version. True. Yep. So that, that uh, Shawada's DP is a little bit hard to punish sometimes, but it is minus 8, right? It's minus 8, always. The uh, the U version is minus 8. The H version is minus 9. The medium version is minus 8. And the light version is minus 11, right? So you should... Uh, most characters should always be able to just get a far M punish on that most of the time, right? So you saw that's, that's exactly what Faith went with there and converted off of it. This character is so cool. Honestly, I kind of—I I don't know who you're talking about, but I would agree about both of them. So, I'll take it one way or the other. Oh, the two H's have been so—you know, Charlotta is hard to two H, right? Because out, lock a DP can only punish with far M. It's a good DP. No, it's a good DP for sure, right? But I'm saying, like, at, at the very least, it, it should always at least be punishable by 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 most of the cast. I don't even know, like, maybe Fairy like can't or something. Out. Oh yeah, Narm and Genji uh, and Genji stance too. I, I see that. Oh no, you don't spot dodge that. Unfortunately for Samu right there, it is he he, he that was really nasty. Right? Cause he went for the two three six U, which you have to spot dodge, right? Talking about Abel, he's cool. Yeah, he went for the two three six U, which you have to spot dodge, and for the two one four U, which you can't spot dodge or you die. So, so that was some very some very nasty trickery there by Faith. Take that one down.
But a great set from both of them. Well played by both Samu and Faith there. There's going to be uh, Faith moving on further into top eight right there. And uh, unfortunately for Samu, they're out. But hey, still, seventh place. Not bad at all. I mean, 47 people in this bracket. This is the scariest bracket we've had. I mean, ex except for the exclusion of that man right there who's just standing there watching. Besides him not being here, this is the scariest bracket we've ever had, basically. So all that being said, great stuff to Samu for making it to seventh there. All right, here we are back with, you know, two, two, very, uh, two very funny characters right here. See, this is funny, right? One of these characters is like coded as a joke character, but it's actually pretty good, aka Loane. One of these characters is coded as like a real character and it's actually a joke character, aka Vayne. Isn't that funny how that works? That's so, that's it. The, the Grand Blue developers have a sense of humor for sure. Um, but yes, we have Loane versus Vayne on screen right here. What the hell? That DP just worked like that? Okay, Human Pyramid, are you hitting the button? Yes, you are. It's gonna get rocked right straight up there. <laughs> Lads, old. Okay, you know what? Two of you love Loane, and I'm happy for you. Loane is definitely a bit of a rare, uh, a rare sight here, so we'll take it. Whoa, hey, yeah, yeah, we got a hype man out here, indeed. Nothing but bros this game. Yeah, I mean these are two very likable characters, personality-wise, for sure. I agree. Ow, ow. Okay, good start here for Full Moon. You guys have pretty decent damage. Obviously, the lane parries on the table. Possibly. Oh no. This went right through the shield and vein there. Did the U Junkrat wheel. And that nice conversion off the air to air there, or off the, the air to ground, rather. The anti-air. Close L into the raging strike. Good stuff by Kimo. Taking that first round down. Titty missiles? Damn right. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, you're having a great time. I'm glad to I'm glad to hear it. Owie. I did much better this week. I'm feeling much better now. Hey, it's not it's not past tense yet. You're still in there, man. Don't 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 hit us with the, the past tense. You can do even better. Still. Okay, good corner combo coming out from Full Moon there. Reversal coming out from Kimo. Get me the hell off out of here. Uses the side switch off the Catabot and then a close H counter hit. Now the way doesn't do that much damage. So like even off a close H counter, it's not gonna be that bad. But out. But still, it's, it's decent damage overall. And you're in the corner against the lane. You can do a lot, of, a lot of tricky stuff right here. Both these characters are chefs. They're arguing who cooks the better food. Hmm. Interesting. Uh-oh. All right. The Mario Party minigame. How do you feel about this, Full Moon? Do you know? I get knowledge checked by this. I do not know. Do you know, Full Moon? Yeah, that's, that's a get. You got it. You got to get, get closer to that. And those are air unblockable. Yep. Yep. Unfortunately, unfortunately, they did get not, not. I don't even know if it was knowledge checked as much as it's just it's it's tough sometimes with Iggy right there. When when the when the green uh the green ball there when it's really far away from you, it'll recover in time. Like if you get hit by it on the other side of the screen like that, you will just get uh you will just get unblockable fired immediately. And if you try to jump it, right, you can get you can get hit with the rocks. So what you want to do most of the time is my understanding. I asked Kimo about this a while ago. Is like if you're far, like you basically want to do. If you're really far away when they when they when they charge the green ball, you want to get it in there. When if you're really close, you want to get away from them, right? One way or the other, you just uh, out. You just need to you just need to go where you aren't on screen to stop from just getting uh, unblockable, essentially. Oh, okay, six six eight, not a counter it though, so no full combo there for Kima. I haven't played against a single Vayne ever since he came out. That's insane. But even on the, I guess you just didn't play on the couple of days that, uh, right when he came out where he was everywhere. But oh, combo limit not dead yet. Wait, chance for chemo here. I mean, you have you have DP, yeah, but ooh, no conversion though. Still, still not dead. One touch will do it. And the low bro, you gotta remember. Okay, the low bro is not a low, but the oh sorry, the low bro is a low, but the high bro is not a, is not a high, right? The high bro is not an overhead. But yeah, the, the low the low bro is certainly a low, and Full Moon got his toes clipped by that, unfortunately. Now it's gonna be set point for chemo right here. Let's see what Moon can figure out. Ow. By the time I started playing, everyone dropped him. Yeah, he did not last. He had like a day or two. He did not last for very long. Oh, okay. The throw bait. That was actually pretty good. The throw bait there with the M uh, engine destruction there, the aerial. Gets a, gets a counter hit combo off that too. Owie. That parry still reached from there. Good stuff. Lewain's parry is so ass. I was wondering if it would just, if it would just whiff. You Junkrat wheel, a great answer to shield, apparently. Seems to work pretty consistently there if you're willing to spend the meter. Yeah, now he's just eating. Look at all that health that Lewain's getting back, right? He just gets the meter back too for the Junkrat wheel again. Look at this, man. So much meter, so much health, but I think it might, you know, after all of that, they might still just be dead right here. Oh, no, 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 never mind. I thought maybe Full Moon was going to commit all their brave points and meter and things like that. Not quite. So there's still a world here. There's still a chance for Akimo. Ah, uh, but that, oh, no conversion. Parry going to get, oh, what? He reeled back there with Wild Beat. Is that what happened? Like, Wild Beat, like, moved his Hurt Box back? Ah, uh, okay. There's the area of engine destruction. Good stuff coming out from Full Moon. Staying alive. Not going quietly into that good night. Does not want to just get too old here, at the very least. Put up a decent fight. Let's see. Lane's parry is unblockable if he parries uh, some setup moves. Interesting. But yeah, it just whiffed there. Lewain, like the parry follow up whiffed because Wild Beat, like, like, uh, sort of, you know, reared back for Vayne is what it looked like to me anyway. I might have misinterpreted what happened on the screen there, but that's what it seemed like. Regardless, ow, ow, ow. Sure. It's going to be pretty good. Uh, Vayne's damage in the corner is pretty nice. Yep. 
That's pretty good, man. That is off this one was essentially a light starter. That's a lot. I mean, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. He 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 hurt. He hurts, man. Vayne definitely does have good corner damage. Uh oh, human pyramid though reversal. Getting Kimo into a better spot, and this throw is gonna kill. Indeed, it will. It was so close. But yeah, that throw is gonna do enough damage to kill right there, and that is gonna end up being a 2-0 for Kimo over Full Moon there. Incredibly well done by them. Great stuff from Full Moon too. Very, I was very close to bringing that back, right? But it was just a little bit too little, too late. Kimo had all the momentum on her side at that point. And they did manage to close out the set before Full Moon could really figure out what was happening too much, right? They, they were starting to adapt, for sure. But yeah, a little bit too little, too late as Kimo moves on. And Full Moon, unfortunately, for them. I mean, it's still good, but they, they go out at seventh place right there. All right, here we go. We have our winner's, uh, winner's semis here, not winner's finals, but yes. Our first match of winner's top eight, essentially. And we have a Nier, a Nier Mirror over here. We got we got Lazy Ruin on the Nier and Nochi Scarlet on the Nier, believe it or not. Yeah, I mentioned it earlier, right? We were, we were watching, was it Besu and uh, and Luca, I think? But regardless, our, yeah, the, the seeding works out. There's gonna, you know, there's gonna be a lot of nears, uh, a, lot, a lot of strong nears here, essentially, right? So, so far we have two of them in winner's side top eight right now, and Lazy looks like he's about to take this first round down, and indeed he will. Good stuff right there. But yeah, I mean, JP mirror is low-key more fun. Honestly, every mirror match in this game is pretty stupid, right? Even if, even if the character in themselves, like, I, I don't think this applies to Nier really, but I know some people are just haters because she's good. Like, even if the character themselves has no sauce, like, the mirror will still be funny, right? Like, a Vayne mirror is still, like, pretty funny, in my opinion. I have a good time with that. Ow. Ow. Luane versus Luane hype. Luane versus Luane sounds like it would uh, explode my my brain. Like, I, I think I think I'll just be so confused watching that shit. Okay, sure. You know... Looking a little bit worse for wear right now, but you know, Lazy was aggressive. He was burnt. Look at the difference there. Six stocks left on Eno. Okay, well, now she's burning through them too. But yeah, Lazy was just burning through his stocks right there, trying to get that match over as soon as he could. And now he's paying for it. No death on deck. Okay, but Eno can't kill off this. I'm pretty sure. No, she cannot. 6 6 is going to whiff. Two nears with no, without death, both fighting. Lazy's going to get his back first, though. It's like watching two Street Fighter 6 characters in burnout, but the 2H will certainly do it. Out. Indeed. So funny to watch two nears with no death, just like like flooding around at each other. It's so funny. Like the, the character just doesn't do anything without death, man. I mean, she still has like some decent buttons, like a good six XL, I suppose. But, like it's just watching two two uh, like one quarter of a character just like running around trying desperately to do something. Near two eight spotted, no way, indeed. Yo Zenkos, yeah, sorry you couldn't. Uh, sorry you couldn't. Thanks for the bracket brick, much love. Yo, thanks for joining, man. Hope you had a good time, Sam. You did, you did great. What the hell? I looked away. I was just like looking at the chat. I, I looked away and, and like, and that, that round was over. I mean, that's the other thing too, is like Nier, right, is both a high damage character and a low HP character, right? So in the mirror, Nier is going to kill Nier super fucking fast, right? Like Nier is in big danger whenever Nier is nearby Nier. Whenever Nier is near Nier, right, death is near for Nier. Whenever whenever Nier's death is near another Nier, then death is near for Nier with that death's near, right? Like that's that, that like it's, 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 a, it's a problem in, in, in this mirror for sure. Ow, ow. Stop. Yeah, you could you could follow that. You guys, it, it, it was it was it was an actual sentence. It made sense. I, I checked it in my in my verbal cortex first. Shut up. <laughs> okay, lazy in the corner now. Of course, Scarlet on the on the red one, right? No, she's rocking the red near. Lazy's rocking the sort of grayish black one. Uh oh, you're not dead here, are you? No, he's got the raging strikes. You are dead. Yeah, you are. Good confirm from Lazy right there. But yeah, that is very much going to be set point now. Or lazy, still best of threes, right? Is that an OG's evil twin Scarlet? Yes, yes, indeed. Ow. Bars? That's all I'm saying, man. It's all, it's all, I, can't, I can't rotate shapes in my head, you know? I can't I can't uh, orient myself in 3D space, but I, I sure can put together confusing verbal sentences. My brain put all the IQ points into speaking. Which, you know, I'll take. It's worked out. Oh my god! The UDP! Oh, okay, okay. So this is the exact... They patched that out, right? That exact uh, interaction right there, because there was a uh, in there was a patch where they said, you know, remove situations where Nier could combo off of UDP, um, right? So that that right there, I assume the reason that didn't work is because they just made it so maybe it just like isn't the juggle state there at all or something. Regardless, you know, tying us up here one round apiece in the second game. Still set point for lazy right there though, off that very strange uh, UDP interaction. They passed it out, you can't combo off, uh, combo off it anymore? Yeah. Like, when I saw that patch, I was like, wait, in what circumstance could Nier ever combo off of UDP? But it's those, right there. We saw we saw the reason for the patch immediately. Lazy probably would have won there if they hadn't. Oh, if the patch wasn't there. And here we go. Oh, no, the 50-50. No confirm for, you know, this is heartbreaking stuff. Gets anti-aired by 2-1-4-U right there. Let's see. Okay, nice holding the guard button there. Does not, doesn't get crossed up any nonsense. But 2-2-U. 
I, that 2 H could not have been intentional by Eno there. That had to be, have been a 2 1 4 H or something. The 2 H got whiff punished by 2 2 U. And now both players definitely one touch away in the mid screen here from finding the kill. Nier's damage is so high. And there's the kill. It's going to go to Eno though on the red Nier. And we're tied up 1 to 1. Not going quietly into that good night. Eno does not want to just let Lazy walk right through her here. 2 2 is wild, man. I didn't realize how massive it is until recently. Oh, it's, it's the best ultimate skill in the game. Yeah. I don't think it's even that close. I think 2 2 is by far the best ultimate skill in the game. It's, yeah, so if you, if you are discovering that now, you, uh, welcome, join the club. Ow. Oh, yeah, her DP doesn't work, though. Her DP is not, it's, it's a parry, right, in a way. It's like, it's, it's got, got kind of the worst of both worlds. But it, it, it loses the throws, at least. It's, it's like a parry in the sense that it loses the throws. Okay, but hold on. Now Eno's got Lazy in the corner, and obviously, honestly, off a, off a good enough starter, Eno could really find a kill here with all this meter, and one breakpoint on Lazy now, especially. You gotta be careful, though. You're almost at chip distance, and far M, out. Ain't no way Zeta doesn't have the best use skills. Oh, no, it's not even close. No, near 2 2 U is better than every Zeta use skill combined. Yeah. You know how, like, uh, like imagine, imagine like, it leads to as much damage in the mid-screen, but also it's plus 27 on block instead of minus 7, and it's not punishable on spot dodge. Uh, what do you mean? It's not even close. And also, you can't hit her out of it, because Death's the one doing it. Combined is crazy? No, it's not even close. He doesn't have the best use skill? You're insane. I, I, I don't even see an argument for anything else. Near 2 2 U is, is absurd. Like, it's actually, if, if Zeta use spear is, is the, yeah, plus 27 on block. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Out. Oh, God, wait. I, once again, I, lo I looked away, and Lazy just... Oh, God, the round's over. God, I was, I was, I was arguing about, about uh, near 2 to you, and Lazy just, yeah, takes it down. I mean, hey, I, listen, a very well-played set. Obviously, both of them, in, like, you know, specialists, masters of their characters right here. 2 to you isn't full screen. Yeah, and most, if Zeta does 2 to you from full, full screen most of the time, it's not going to work for her, right? Also, even if that was, like, a true, a true like, uh, benefit of Zeta's spear over, over near 2 to you, that is not enough to, to, like, add every other thing that it's so much better at. Right near 2 2 U. Zeta's use are good, for sure, but it's it's not even the conversation. I think it's in a tier of its own, uh, honestly, near 2 2 U. All right, here we are, back with our next match, winner semis, once again here. Dear God, Shiraz, 22,000 crystals? Well, that's a good point. Oh, I did not notice that. Holy crap. Oh, immediate brave counter baits from J Mam. You guys have played a lot on rank, you can tell. I mean, J Mam himself is, not, is no a slouch. I think J Mam's rocking like 20,000 something on the Lodiva, right? Or like 18,000 or something? Both of these guys are ranked goblins, man. They, they spent so much time on the ladder right there. Jamie has 24k? Bro, when? Yeah, so both these guys have, have, have played a lot of ranked and probably have run into each other a lot, right, too? Which is probably exactly why um, Jamie did that Brave Counter bait. It's the first thing he did. Probably a lot of matchup experience against uh, for both of them here against each other. So this is like some some like seventh level interdimensional backgammon that's being played right now. So we'll see. First round goes down to Jamie. These two K-Tang rend the earth and can a sprite. Oh, yeah. The, the rank, the rank, the, the rank devil, oh, the rank demons. Okay. The leapfrog, they're gonna be safe with all the traps covering it. Wall bounce off the hip thrust. Ooh, fine, fine. Headbutt, they're actually working out pretty decently against Far H. That's usually a pretty difficult button for Liba, for Liba to deal with, right? Is, is Cavalier so Far H there? Whoa, tried to brave count or something there. Got a raging strike. No big punish coming out, though. Feet? Oh. Ow. Hmm. Obviously, SSBA is a big potential risk here, but... Ooh, good. Catch, try, ca caught the back dash there. The J-Man. Raging Strike. Oh, it's not, gonna, it's not gonna happen, is it? Oh, no, the spot dodge gets punished, and now you're in such a bad spot. Obviously, projectile Invuln Super is a possibility here for, uh, for J-Man also. But you're in almost in chip distance. It's so bad to be in chip against Kagli Yostro. And he just walks up and hits with the far edge. Great stuff by Shiro there to close out that round. Okay, sure. Brave point taken away. Honestly, like, one of the big things for Liva in, in any of these matchups a lot of the times is taking the brave points off of her opponents because Liva's, Liva's pressure is very weak to brave counter, right? Brave counter and DP. So, like, just getting brave points off of your opponents is such a huge boon for her, right? So just, like, getting a brave point immediately for just hitting a, a Lariat there in neutral? That's that's the that's the promised land. Okay, sure. I'm watching how Jamie is playing this, too, and I, I do. I like He's rolling a lot more than I than I do against some of these Cagliostro buttons. I do like it. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to learn what I can here as, as, a, as a fellow Lodiva. Ow. Ow. Okay. Spot dodge. Spot dodge. Uh, it, that, that triggered the trap? I suppose so. Okay, no brave points on Shiro. This is, I mean, if j can find a hit, this will be very scary. Almost back through him into it there, and that time he will. Yep. For the first time there, right, j man tech the throw. Back through it. But the problem is, right, you can't delay tech against Cagliostro. You will just die. So you got a reaction tech every time. I thought, I think j was worried about getting possibly like teching the throw and getting baited by a J22H, right? 
And unfortunately for him, it was not. It was just, you know, sure just ran it right back with that back throw. Put him, cleans that trap, and that killed him right, right, honestly, right through, yeah, right through 18k HP. Doesn't matter, man. I guess we can get some pretty good damage mid screen there if he, if he gets the traps on you. And I mean, JM himself didn't have that much health left anyway. It's not like he was full health or anything. Oh no, that is not where you want to brave counter that, good sir. Bit of an unfortunate choice there for J Man. Now he's in the corner against Kag. Oh, never mind. No side switch combo. 2 2 H was uh, not, not in use there. Okay. Once again, get, gets thrown into the traps. Tried to cross him up. <laughs> Just did it again. Sure. Understandable. It's a little bit scary to try an anti anti or anti air uh, Kag sometimes, right? Because of the, the air toilet right there. Ow, ow, ow. Wall bounce? Indeed it will. Oh, it's going to be a nice little combo here for Shiro. Yep. Side switch off the 2 2 H, indeed. And now, Death's Door here for Jam. I've got to watch out. This is where this is where hell begins. Yep. When Kag has uh, almost anyone, but Liva, is, uh, Liva definitely is no exception. In that exact situation, Kag is like standing out at far H distance from you, and you have a trap in front of you and a trap above you. That is, whoo, that is pure hell, man. And unfortunately, yeah, the cage was formed, exactly. And Jam could not get out of the cage. Now, set point here for Shiro, potentially. Oh, 6 6 M into the side swap into the other trap. The geometry, the Velkaz combos coming out from Shiro right here. Oh my god. Now once again, you're stuck. Far H distance here is just such a threatening option. Yep, that Far H right there. That exact one is such a bad button to be... It's a hard button to deal with. Again, especially for Ladiva right there. That's gonna be a big corner combo. You're not dead, are you? I don't think so. Gonna get caught with the Ars Magna. Are you dead? Maybe you are. Oh, you are dead. God damn. 18k HP, I thought maybe, but no. So much damage coming out there from Shiro. Incredible corner combo, and just honestly great. Again, great use of their tools to try and box it in as much as they possibly can. That's what you have to do, man. Kag is not a character with great defense. If, if, if JMM was able to get a turn, it could have been, been very scary. But honestly, that entire time, basically, Shiro just boxed him out. And uh, the only times that he was close to him was when he was in the corner, right? Still, though, JMM obviously playing very well on that Lodiva, as always. And he goes down to the other side of the brackets to try and go forward from there. So we'll see how that goes. Recording back on. Hello. Sorry. I was updating the overlay. I took a second to, to put the recording back on. So we're kind of jumping in media res here just a little bit. But we've got Inochi on the near. Kimo on the low lane, right? For our Oga. Oh for this is a loser's quarters right here, right? So after this, whoever wins this has loser's semis and then loser's finals from there as, as, as it goes. If you're unfamiliar with Oga, oh double elimination tournaments. And the, the first round already going down pretty hard in Eno's favor there. Some pretty dominant near pressure in the corner. Just kind of, it just kind of happens, man, especially in Grand Blue. Sometimes you just lose neutral right away, get pushed to the corner, and then just die on the corner because everyone's offense is so goddamn overwhelming in this video game, right? Obviously, Brave Counter is an incredibly strong defensive mechanic, but a lot of the times this ends up that, you know, it's not enough. With people die in the corner Im uh, immediately after being sent there so often in this video game. Okay, good conversion there off the counter hit 6-6-L from Inochi. So... We're also going to get Kimo out of that situation. Now it's you in the corner against Lewayne, but two to you. There it is again. Again, my pick for probably best ultimate skill in the video game. Coming out there. Owie. Sure. Junkrat wheel gets hopped over. Oh, no. Are you... You're not dead. Lewayne does not have that kind of... He doesn't have it like that. He doesn't have that kind of mid-screen damage. Yeah. Close, but not quite. Even on near with one brave point, but the immediate hit confirm. So good. Why you know there? That was like I mean that was like either if they react if they reacted to hit confirm that that's something, but probably they just like this uh, this you know decided they were just gonna auto power into it regardless. Good stuff from them though taking that first game down, works out pretty well in their favor right there. Decisive con uh, confirm to SSBA. What the hell? He just got punished for that with death for for getting his parry triggered. Unfortunate. Poor Lewayne. That parry of his is so ass. Okay, empty jump throw. Hold on. Grappler tactics coming out from Kimo right now. Try to go for a little bit of shimmy action there, possible. Okay. Me and Death are right behind you. You know, really good with the hit confirm? Yeah, apparently. Okay, this is going to be a nice little starter here for Lewayne, and the throw baited out. And this, again, should be Death. Lewayne doesn't hit that hard. But this should be Death. Yeah, into Human Pyramid, right? In some, in some fireworks or something, this should be more than enough. Indeed, it will be. Especially 15k HP near there again. Lewayne does not do the most damage in the world. He isn't really anywhere close to the most damage in the world, to be completely honest with you. But, you know. He, 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 can, he, can, he can do that. He can, he can finish that one off at the very least. Okay, cool. What's going on, Raiders? In the Astro Voice, the throw bait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, Dark Arg, thanks for the follow, man. Ow, 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 ow. Sure. Lots of damage coming out. Oh, that, wait, he could still convert off of that? That's insane. That's actually more damage than I thought would come out of the lane in that sense. Ow. Uh, speaking of damage, though, of course, near mid screen. The one, the only, the SBA. Oh my god. There goes a good 45% of your health, just about. Was even on low cards there. That was, that was on nine cards. Uh oh. But did not spot dodge the, uh, the the lows there. Did not block the lows either. 
and just gets tricked out in the corner by like, I mean, this, this, that is a, that is some goddamn Dragon Ball Fighters ass nonsense right there, right? Like, it's not just Loane. You got Loane, you got the Catabot, Loane's like doing some weird shit. You got the high bro and the low bro, right? Like, that is just, what the hell? How, how are you supposed to figure out what the hell is happening there, right? Like, like, it, he, Loane's playing Dragon Ball Fighters, man. Bro called in three assists. Can't even do that in Dragon Ball Fighters. Just got like baby or something on your team. Ow. Oh, nice parry. Didn't want to deal with that 50-50 whatsoever. Good stuff by Kimo right there. Tying us up one, one to one in games, by the way. This is still a best of three. I'll let you know when the best of five start. Ow. 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 Oh, install. Were they out of death? Possibly. Actually, I, I wasn't keeping track of how many how many death stocks that Inoki still had. I'm not sure if that install was a misinput. That was misinput? Okay, that's what I figured. Yeah, because I thought they still had a lot of death stocks left. Yeah, and unfortunately, that misinput is going to cost them, right? That SSBA probably would have given them a lot of damage. I don't know if it would have killed, but it would have got a lot of damage and uh, a great screen position for them. Instead, install just kind of gets them killed, unfortunately. One of those times where actually near just having an install at all is a problem. She got herself crossed. Ah, makes sense. Yep, yep, yep. Makes sense. That's why, you know, simple input SBA sometimes can just be a little bit... Uh, well, actually, no, I guess it's, it will still be probably SBA or back in SBA or something, right? Simple input, input wouldn't help with that. Yes, yes. Exactly, lazy. All right, set point now for Kimo, by the way, on here. Owie, parry coming in. What's the move? One brave point, by the way, on near means that Loane can get some pretty good damage here. You might be dead, actually. I think he's dead. Went to the right, another ready strike. Yeah, yeah. One brave point on near, 15k HP. Oh, sorry, one brave point on near and 15k HP on near means that with all those brave points, that is going to be Kimo taking that one down. That is a little bit of a heartbreaker for sure, right? Again, that 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 install probably was it. it uh, all the nears and chatter saying was a misinput. That looked like a misinput to me because I don't think that was really what you know. It, it wouldn't make sense, right? It, it wasn't really a good uh, choice for you know there. So unfortunate. But hey, still good stuff by Kimo taking that one down, playing solid on the lane, and moves on in bracket there as Inochi. Unfortunately, that is going to be them out of the tournament. Uh, at I believe is that fifth tied for fifth. I think so. So a good a good choice regardless, but or a good a good performance regardless rather. We are going to be moving on to our next match of Losers Quarters now. All right, here we are back with our our next match of Losers Quarters right here. Owie, owie. You know, next week's views, I'm not running a tournament. If you uh, So if, if you guys want to do like a little community wall brawl for each other, you can certainly be the commentator if you'd like. Okay. Command grab into command. That was so much damage. That was the medium one. That was the, the reason that did, that did more damage than I was expecting is that was medium SPD that Jamie Am tried to hit him with there, right? So that was work the crowd, medium SPD, which is like technical input will be like 3,500 damage, just about. Owie. So especially on Avatar. Yes, exactly. Yep, yep, yep. But it just like shot because Avatar also has 14k health, you know? So that's just like way more red than I'm used to seeing off of an SPD. But it's, it's just Avatar Blyle things. Oh, counter hit 66L could have gotten a conversion off of that, at least into far L. But unfortunately, missed it. And now in a bit of a scary spot here against Avatar. Headbutt was to throw, obviously. Good choice by Faith. And the 2 3 6 U did not spot dodge. Again, you gotta be careful. I mean, probably the reason that Jam didn't spot dodge right away there is gotta be careful to spot dodging on reaction to blue when you're fighting Avatar, right? Because that could very well be 2 1 4 U that will get you killed. So it is a very scary thing when Avatar just does blue in your face, right? You gotta, you gotta be very careful whether it's projectile or Rekka. So Faith taking that first game down in the command grab. Not reacted to by J Man. Hold on, another one. Oh, but it just whiffs. But it just whiffs. Okay, sure. What's the move? Oh, this is... I don't know, I have to be like, are you dead? He's not dead. He's not dead. If if, if, if Jamem had super, he would be. Yeah, so there's this Jamem loves this combo under because it's a safe jump. Yep, yep. And it's so... That combo... What, what Jamem just did right there, that's kind of his, like... Uh, everybody has, like, their favorite combo ender. That is Jamem's, right? That ending with you Lariat like that is a safe jump if he, if he whiffs that close L. And it also hits... It, it auto times it for him for a meaty 2M, right? Which is why you saw Faith get hit meaty by that 2M right there. So that is J-Mam's preferred to leave a corner combo ender. And I, you know what? It's not, it's not mine, but I, I like it. I, I, see, I see the vision for sure. Little Diva high loads. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Ow, ow, ow. Sure. One one round the piece here. I mean, obviously, oh, I was going to say Diva in the corner is pretty bad for her. Able to do so much damage in this corner, but 2M into Lariat. It's going to be spooky times. Oh, gets hit by the far L there. Nothing doing. And, you know, just tap the glass just enough. Yep. Half the glass just enough that Faith got a little bit spooked there, right? It's like, you know, 6XL, far L, 6XL, far L, 6XL, far L. Like, all of these little staggered pressures. Like, hey, you know, you want a reversal? I know you want a reversal. Don't you want to do it? Don't you want to do it? Are you going to die? You're going to die if you don't do it soon. And just tapping the glass just enough there that, unfortunately, for Faith, they did panic. And that was exactly the time that Jam decided they, uh, that they were going to try and bait out SSBA. Works out pretty well for them. So they take that first game down. Solid stuff there. Let's see how Faith can adapt. Uh oh, this is not good. You're not dead, are you? No, he's not. He's not. He's not. 
He's not, uh, Davion's routing like he is, but he's not. He, he's, he's gonna live with just a tiny bit of HP here. I mean, this way he's gonna, anything will kill him, right? Yeah, there you go. I, I know my Ladiva combo damage, and anything will kill him. I mentioned not every Ladiva has, like, their own sort of things they like to do. You know, for example, Gabagool loves his air grabs. JMM, I call the 6-6-M the JMMH. That is the fucking, like, that 6-6-M is the JMMH. He, he loves ending rounds. And with 6XM right there, it is honestly like it was, it was one of the things. If you are fighting JMMH, just, just block high when you stand up, man. But sometimes he hits you with a meaty 2M if you do that, right? But he just he loves that that 6XM so much. Uh oh, empty jump USPD. That is an SBA. He just got hit by there, Mister Belial. There's so much damage coming out. Howie. Okay, SSBA on deck for Avatar is scary news for JMM potentially here. There it is. Just the run up base drop. Shit your pants. Mrs. Wrestler Lady, that is it, the, 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 the brown note coming for you. Shitting right in your wrestling speedo right there, it's, it's, it's you know, it's, just, it's so unfortunate, but that is exactly what Avatar makes you do sometimes, makes you look foolish. Uh oh, 2H, no conversion though. Chance here at 4 faith still. Yep, and the packed follow up there will certainly get the kill. Not going quietly into that good night just yet. This is set point for J-Man, by the way, I don't think I mentioned that last round, but it is it, this round, once again, set point for J-Man. We're still rocking best of threes for a while here. And Miyato's there to watch the Avatar gameplay. There you go. Out, out, out. Sure. Okay, and the reset into nothing there. Medium SPD coming in. Big damage. Okay, 2-3-6-U. Could be worse for JM, I suppose. There's the Brave Counter beta, though. It's such a, such a big resource lead now for Faith. Health, I mean, health disadvantage, actually, because he's Avatar. But, you know, two Brave Point advantage is such a big deal. Oh, spot dodge, gonna well, be up, beat out the far L there. 2H, and this should be, oh, I was gonna say this should be a dead J-Man, but no, no conversion from Faith. I'm not sure if he wasn't able to, or if he just missed it. Regardless, though, finds that 2-3-6-U. That's gonna be tied up one-to-one. -one. Again, not going quietly to that good knight is Faith. Does able pack 5 you have the same animation as the second hit, Bilal SBA? I think you're right. I think you're right, Silver. That sounds, that sounds right, actually. Yeah. I think you might be, I think, because, yeah, it's, it's the kick in the Avatar state. I never would have noticed that, but yeah, I think you're, I think you're correct. Out, out. Okay, a little setup for a reset here, you can tell. Coming in from Faith. Ooh, reset into the strike right away. Sure. Lariat coming out from JMM right there. Out, out, out. And it makes sense for Avatar and, and like regular Blyle too. Is this plus? Yeah, yeah. So that's the thing, right? It's like, this is like plus like a billion. So unfortunately for JMM, I don't think they knew that because that is a relatively, that is a relatively uh, uncommon thing for able to do in neutral. Usually just use U-Flight as a combo ender and that's about it, right? Yeah, you're dead. Yeah, exactly like that. Use it like this, right? Oh, that was combo limit two, but that was just so much goddamn damage. The 49 hit combo. One of the best numbers in the world. Seven squared. We'd love to see it. Uh, and now set point for Faith. But yeah, unfortunately, Jamie apparently just not aware that that, that dive cool plus got counter hit by the close H right there. And that was big damage. Suicide combo? Oh, yeah. Two H once again, being so good about keeping Jamie grounded here is Faith. We'll give a JM to be a very scary option against two H's, but Faith's just timing it out so well. Uh oh. Okay, hold on. He's a chance, though. There's a chance here. Oh, goes for the two. Okay, goes for the two U. Wants that side switch in the mid screen. The, the Rage is gonna whiff one break point on Avatar. I mean, just about any. Oh, it's just so punishable. Yeah. So here's the thing, right? Lots of Rekkas work like this, essentially, right? The way the way it works is you can go deeper and deeper and deeper into the Rekka. It gets more and more and more minus. But it's also a check of like if your opponent tries to match, so they think you're gonna end it early, then they'll get frame trapped. But unfortunately, there, J-Man was patient. He waited it all out, and that final pack follow up is like minus 17 or something for Avatar. So incredibly punishable. Okay, I'm taking advantage, and now here we go. Here we go. We have set point now for both players. One way or the other, one of these guys is going home after this very round. Okay, Brave Counter coming out from Faith. Two Brave Points apiece right now. Life can be plus on block. Close Ace trying to go for the frame trap there once again, but I'm not falling for it that time. You headbutt. Get off me. DP right back. Mine's mirrorless and better than yours. There you go. 2H not going to come in time there with the 6-6L, the whiff there, the extra 5 recovery frames they added in the patch, possibly saving J-Man's life right there. No Brave Points on Faith, this is so risky, man. If J-Man finds any sort of hit on him, he's just going straight to hell. This is plus on block. Okay, doesn't doesn't fall for it again, does J-Man. Oh, goes for the U-Layer right away. No, no confirm, though. Oh, and that might be death, the wall bounce. Oh, no, it whiffs. Okay, but the Brave Point is baited out. It's so close, and Faith is gonna find the kill that was so scary for so long there right on both sides obviously ladiba in the corner right one good able corner combo away from dying at any moment but also faith had no brave points he's avatar blau and he's against ladiba right it was so easy for any point for faith to just die right there but he stayed calm he stayed collected and that is him taking it over game i'm incredibly good set well played very close from both players right that was not a stomp in any way shape or form but in that last clutch moment there faith figures it out he, he clutches up Oh my God! Miss actually, you know, dropped the conversion on that two on the two one four U there, but it didn't matter. He, he he got it back. He got it back, 
and he moves on to but two losers semifinals right there all right here we are with our winners finals here so we got two very strong competitors right here obviously laser ruin on the near and hero with the twenty-two thousand gems on the goddamn cagliostro you gotta change it back out of the smash don't you yes i do yes i gotta change it back to best of three because this is our first best of five yeah, I told you I'd let you know. When we got there, I said I'd let you know when we got there. And I, I, I'm, I'm a man of my word. If nothing else is important for me, that my word matters. People can trust me when I say things. Regardless, best of five. Winner's finals right here. So we have we got a lot of, a lot of grand blue to play, one way or the other. Ow, ow. Let me turn my AC on, by the way. This match has been too exciting for me, and it's June. It's getting a little bit hot in Canada, for sure. Let me turn my AC back on here. But yeah, Lazy uh, got a good a good start to this round so far, right? Oh, God. 6-6-L six, six, uh, six, six there, too. Calgillo's throw in the corner. One throw away. Actually, two throws away from death, funny enough. Because Nier's throw is doing a little bit less damage now that Death is out. Owie. At this point, just one touch from just about anything from Lazy. We'll do it here, but, you know, lots of meter on the side of Shiro. Good brave counter there. Didn't want to get, to get leapfrogged over. Wanted to keep Shiro in the corner, and there is 2-2-U two, two, right there. Caught pressing on plus 27. I, couldn't be me, man. Could not be me. I tell you what. I tell you what. Oh, God. 2-U. Winning out that trade there for Lazy. Again, Nier's, Nier's buttons, especially when Death is not summoned, right? So goddamn good. How's it going on, Cheesecake? Uber, my father. Owie. Oh, nice. It's gonna, it's gonna be the whole geometry combo, the Velkaz coming in. Owie. Yup. The 2-2M. Two, two I think I taught him that. Ah, there you go. Look at that. You have contributed directly to Lazy's success, possibly. In some way. I have so many goddamn kids. You got, you got, you, I don't know, man. Wrap it up. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Alright, plus 27. Oh, no. That's the other thing, too. You can't brave counter that thing either, right? People, people, I, I like, listen, I respect everyone's opinion that's in here, but like people really tried to tell me this wasn't the best ultimate skill in the game, and I think that's ridiculous. You see Shiro just die for brave countering there? Right? You just can't do it. You can't do it. Ow. Okay, sure. Don't worry, your kids will grow up. At some point. For now, I'm, I'm still a child. Uh oh. This should be a very dead laser right here. Good shimmy there by Shiro just to backdash right away. Insane. Into the far age punish, into the hip thrust. Great stuff. All of them have right in front of me. I'm so proud of them. Oh. All right, the basketball dunk coming in there, sure. Six six seven is gonna whiff. Oh, okay, but no punish. It, 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 it's it is weird, right? It's not something you're used to seeing. Near six seven just like staying on the same side of you because they're too far away, right? So Shiro not quite able to, to punish that in time. Didn't have to get mixed on the right side, so that's something. Wholesome content, you know. That's what we, we do. We do love Uber around here. Out, out. All right, two six use so much goddamn chip damage coming out there from the near, even if you block all that, so this hurts like a motherfucker. Uber is my uncle. So true. Oh god. Nice. So much blocks in on that. Death out. Completely gone here. For lazy, less damage on the throw, because death's gone. If you don't know, throws do universally 2,500 damage, but uh, near without death, her throw does 2,000. So it's a little bit neutered there. Okay. What's the move, Shiro? Shiro, I think you gotta play a little bit more aggressive here, man. You gotta get... You can't let death come back. Your chances of winning this round when Death's back are so low at this point, and here Death is. The DP, though, immediately gets blown up by the traps. Hold on, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh my god, here we go. All right. SSBA, huge damage coming out in the mid-screen here, especially, obviously, near 15k HP, and also no break points after that SSBA, so... This is very risky for Lazy. What's he gonna do? The text at the Aki way? Sure. Oh god, H Pierce. Pierce, coming out from Kag. The chip damage is about to start piling up, but no, it won't. The air stall after the trap there. Lazy just with a straight punish on that far L. That was very close. That was very close. I mean, maybe, you know what? Shiro's got, Shiro's got an idea. I was like saying, like, you know, Shiro, maybe you should be a little bit, uh, we're second the Aki way. <laughs> don't worry about it too much. Uh, basically, it's technical with the throw button, right? What, as for what the Aki way is, I don't know, man. Go to go to New York. They'll, uh, they'll teach you. I told Bodega at some point. But yeah, basically, I, I, it's what I call technical with the throw button. The correct way, quote unquote. That leaves you even on block and pushes them away from you. Where you don't fall over. Out, out. Okay, throw whiff, but no punish coming out from Lazy. Jumped back there, just couldn't really. I thought, uh, no, 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 yeah, it's it's, it's O C K Y, not A K I. I thought Aki had something to do with SF6, Aki. She cool, she cool. And it's the way you're supposed to? Well, I mean, you know, not necessarily. If you're delay teching the Aki way, that can be very risky. That can be very risky to delay tech the Aki way. But in general, yes, it, 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 if it, outside of delay tech, it is technically the better throw attack. You're dead as hell, lazy. Yep, indeed you are. Back thrown clean into those traps. Ouch. Okay, hold on. Shiro is is heading uh, towards a possible 1-1 one -one tie here. Basketball dunk. I see you. That's been a pretty consistent round start option from lazy there. I mean, it's pretty safe on the bright side, right? But I mean, yeah. Uh, it has been getting death killed pretty often here. Okay, hip thrust coming out from Kag there. 
you can't you can delay tech the Aki way. Oh yeah, certainly. It's it's just very you can just hit a, you can hit the, the throw button on delay, right? The problem is it, it's very vulnerable to shimmies or throw bait moves. Very very vulnerable to that compared to like a two L uh, or a two that two L taking with like a two L or a close L is more vulnerable to close H's, delayed close H's. So it's like it's it's a give and take. It's a give and take. I think he's dead by the way. Yep, indeed he is. Again, 15k HP on near. Ars Magda does a lot of damage, and of course, well, one Brave Point also, right? He's got to buff that up even more once the Super started hitting right there. <laughs> so it was only the, the button version? It's The button version is usually safer, right? Because it's, it's a little bit harder to de delay close H someone unless you, like, really have a read on their timing than it is to just shimmy them, right? Because throw has, like, 29 frames of recovery or something, and uh, a, t a button only has, like, 6 frames of startup. So usually delay, delay taking with a button is safer, but it's not. There are no hard and fast rules in fighting games, right? It depends. It depends. It's all about your opponent's read on you, essentially. Okay. As we go into game three here, a good start here for Lazy has throw in the corner, on the near two to you. Imagine, imagine pressing a button when near has meter. Could not be me. Sure. Out, out, out. It's a very dead hero right there. Right into SBA. Does he destroy everyone? Chill out, girl. Uh, pass him. I'm gonna say pass him. Hello, pass him. Pays him. Pazin, thank you for the follow, regardless. Whatever your name is, I appreciate your support, regardless, even though I can't say how, what, what your name is properly. Okay, so set point now. Oh, no, 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 not set point, not set point. My everything? Possibly. Um, but yes, not set point. I lied for a second. This is the best of five. So this is, even if Lacey wins this, we have at least one more game to play here, depending. I got I got two losses in the best of three sauce right there. I'm not going to die right here. Combo limit's going to save their ass. But you're in chip distance against Nier. Yeah, yeah. So no deaths on the bright side with something, but Nier is maybe the single worst character to be in, uh, character to be in chip against, right? It is just so goddamn tough to come back from chip situation against Nier because she can cancel specials into specials. All of her specials are very are very safe for her too and hit you from very far away. Death destroy everything. Okay, that's what I thought you said. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, two one so far for Lazy. Let's see. Shiro taking a, possibly a little bit of a breath there to compose himself. I got it half right. You got the everything part. That's a third. We'll take it. As always there, the basketball dunk getting death killed early on. Lazy, a cruel master, sends his death to die every single round. Grab round start. Simply does not care. 2-2-M. Two, two oh, man. Nice little setup there. This is I'm obviously pretty plus for Nier, but it usually has to just take a, lot of time, a long time to set up. Has a large startup. So off that little knockdown, you can get a, a meaty 2-2-M two, two almost. Out. Okay, hip thrust coming out from Hero here. Nice. Big call. This is so much damage. God damn it, man. What the hell? Oh, listen, I know it's on near, but like, God, God, this does so much damage, man. Ow. Ow. My face. Okay, okay, sure. Hit near so hard there, like, I have my fucking real voice reveal right there. God damn. All right, well, Shiro doing pretty well right here. Able died to the combo grab, not needed. That's what I'm saying. Little guy damage. So true. Okay, 50-50 there, but Lazy just backs off, trying to bait a DP, I suppose, from Shiro. No dice. Anti-anti-air on the trap, but oh no, not like this. You're dead. He has rating strikes. Yep. Yep. Yeah, tried to bait. So, two, a couple of things happened there, right? Um, Lazy walks back, trying to bait out the DP. Didn't happen. And then he tried to 2-H the trap. It, so, uh, Shiro tries to use it as an air, as an air stall, as an anti-anti-air, but just missed? Isn't it supposed to spawn on your opponents? I'm kind of surprised that worked that way, to be honest with you. That's a, that's, that, that move is a little bit less consistent than I thought it was. Regardless. Lazy then just able to, to punish them on the way down, right? So, set point now. Or, yeah, now that's officially set points. 2-1 here for Lazy. So if he wins this, he goes to Grand Finals winner side, which is a huge advantage, obviously. Right? Having to lose two sets in a row to lose. Plus 27 on block there. You know how it'd be. Out. Ta-da! Okay, sure. Traps have been set up. Death gone. Uh oh Bell caused into the traps once more. Rating strike. Oh my god, the rating strike, and he caught him on the trap. Didn't even need to rage and chain. That is okay. Okay. That's some sauce. That that, that was pretty sick. That was I, I'm actually I'm a big fan of that. The rating strain just angled to land purely into the trap. Cagliostro again. Cagliostro players, they, they out, they're out here, they got a masters in geometry, man. What a, what a, what a thing. Uh oh. Back throw here. I think Lazy's dead, right? Should just be a dead 100 percent with rating strike or rating chain. No! Combo limit. Okay, hold on. There's a world. It's a scary 4 0 suddenly. One break point on Cag. A good combo starter from near here. Could be death. 2-2-U, obviously, a huge threat, but the J-U coming out from Kag right there, caught Lazy, trying to come up at him. That's going to tie us up 2-2 two two here. We're going to a game 5 in Winner's Finals. We do, in fact, have ourselves a set. What a comeback there. I mean, it, wasn't, it wasn't really a comeback, it was just like, I guess comeback set-wise, right? But it's like very, very well played round there by Shiro. So let's see. Let us see. 
Game five, one way or the other, one of these guys is heading down to this side of the bracket. One of them is going to grand fi or grand finals, yeah, on the winner's side. Okay, DP, death gone, reduced to Adams once again. Lazy, the first thing he does is get death killed because he does not care about death. Simply a tool, a primal beast for him to use to conquer the world, I suppose. All right. Oh, damn. That Raging Strike gonna get punished there. Tried to Brave counter something, probably, right? But the 2-2-M two, two there, where right, there wasn't actually anything hitting him. It was too much startup. He just ended up getting Raging Strike, uh, Raging Strike, and he died for his trouble. And now, on tip distance against Nier, only one Death Stock on Lazy, though. I mean, this is something. There's a possibility here for Shiro, but wasn't able to find it, wasn't able to get the momentum, wasn't able to hold Lazy down in time. As he gets blown up by that Nier 6 xl And now, once again, we have set point for Lazy Ruin. Let's see how Shiro can clean this up. He made it back last time. Okay, oh no, Far Rage is not how you want this to start if you're Shiro. Big damage even in the corner here, and of course now near Gachi in the corner means Mix is coming, including that 6-6-M. Raging Strike conversions, you're not dead, but oh my god, you are definitely one touch away. 2 3 6 is so much goddamn chip and holds you in place for so long. One Brave Point on Shiro doesn't really matter. At this point, anything that touches them will kill him anyway. So I like the idea of using the Brave Point Super Aggressive there, and the J2-2-H actually is going to bait out Lazy attempted to delay tech, or just match on something, and now it's going to be huge damage coming out here. Yep. Nier's not dead, but she's very close, and suddenly this is a very winnable round for Shiro. A huge J228 there to bait out Lazy's throw attempt. Okay, here we go. What's the move? DP, obviously. Oh, the shimmy! Oh god, the whiff throw to the whiff throw to the whiff throw! What's happening? You guys are killing me! Somebody kill someone! I can't- I can't- the tension's too high. I can't do it anymore. I can't do it. Like, you, you get- some, one of you has to die. Someone please die. Oh my god. Okay. And the bubble pops, right? Set point. Fight the Grand Blue Handshake twice, though. Right? It was whiff throw into whiff throw into whiff throw. It was, it was a, 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 a three-way handshake with goddamn talking about TCP IP. If you are watching this and you know what that means, I don't know, man. What, what, a, what a strange overlap of audience, no? Yeah, they, they hit the three-way handshake right there. Oh, my God. And now, set point. Final, final round here, one way or the other. One of these guys in the grand finals. I got that joke? You're raced. I, you know, I love you. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, Leia gets that one, too. Yeah, there you go. I, I see my computer science students in the chat right there. All right, all right, anyway, anyway. Shiro got a very good start to the round right here. I mean, honestly, almost a very good end to it. If Lazy gets caught by one more thing, that'll be it. j 2 h not gonna do it that time, but the toilet packs the air toilet into the counter hit. Counter hit toilet there is gonna be a full combo for Shiro. And he managed to catch Lazy Ruin out there and takes that one down three to two. Coming back from a one, two deficit in that set. Shiro just not willing to lose. This would not let it happen. And that counter hit toilet at the very end there, not the air toilet, that's what I'm saying, man. The counter hit air toilet. Works out gangbusters for Shiro right there. An amazingly played set by Lazy and Shiro. So good on both of their ends. So close. I mean, Lazy could have won that so many different times. Just, just, you know, it's a game of inches, basically. But on the bright side for Lazy, they are still in this. They just have to go down and fight their way through loser's bracket now if they want to get a, re a run back against Shiro there. Shiro, though, grand finals winner's side. A huge advantage immediately. Shiro is now the favorite to win the whole thing. All right, here we are for our loser's semi-final match, right? So we're back down temporarily to best of threes here. You know how it is. We got Kimo on the Lewain, Faith on the Avatar. You've seen them a lot at this point. It's fine. You know how it'd be. So again, yeah, best of three. This is our last best of three of the tournament, right? At this point, after that, loser's finals, best of five. Grand finals, best of five, right? Whether it's one grand final set or two, all best of five. So this is our last best of three here. So our last very volatile match. And boy, do we have a volatile character in it here too. In Avatar Belial. Are you dead? They're going to build super off of this, aren't they? Yeah, they are. I think you're dead. Wonk, bonk, badonk, kakronk, shabonk. Oh my, babonk. Holy shit. The full, tried to optimize that as much as they can. They caught with the fireworks like, what, six or seven times right there? Good stuff from Kimo. Of course he did. I mean, he's Avatar. It's true. Babonk. That's what I'm saying, man. It's a good matchup for Avatar. It's not looking like it so far. I'll tell you what. Kimo says, fuck your matchup chart. I'm going to win this one because I want my run back. All right. Sure. Rolling right through there. Time to mod those sound effects into the way. So true. You can just clip that and then use them. Oh, no! I was like, 2 one for you Don't spot dodge. No no problem, Leia. No problem. I was like, 2 one for you Whatever you do, do not spot dodge. It's going to be a combo now off the H command grab, too. Uh-oh. Uh, any Charlotta or Anila on the brackets? Not anymore. There were, but not anymore. Yep. Reset. Into death. Make him shit his little Loane pants right there. All three of the boys in succession. Oh, Zeta. Oh, Zeta. It was, it was Charlotte or Zeta. Yeah, yeah. But yes. Wait, they didn't, they didn't kill? Wait, he's alive? Uh-oh. Wait, Faith's screwed, right? This is so... You have to, like, not get hit by... Yeah. He's a... Oh, that was so unfortunate. Okay, well. I thought that combo would kill. I really did. Iggy, Iggy, Iggy. Iggy, 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 Iggy. The milt install. Goddamn. All right, well, Kimo takes that first game down. 
I mean, a great, a great, an almost comeback there by Faith, but yeah, just wasn't enough. And Iggy, the Mario Party minigame there, bailing her out. Out, out, out. Okay, what's the, what's the move, Faith? Again, this is the best of threes. You don't have that much more time. Out. We had a couple Charlottas, though. I think a Charlotta got top eight. Oh, no, never mind. It's Zeta and Anil, yeah. Anil player is too busy sheep posting in the Discord. Yep, yep. Faith doing his reading game. He's just adapting. Listen, Fuse, not everyone's you. Okay. Okay, reversal coming out. The Catabot. Uh-oh. Counter hit 6-6-H is going to be a full combo for Loane. They're off of a counter hit. Loane will be able to full combo you on that 6-6-H. That's exactly what happens. And now we find ourselves on set points here for Kimo. Faith having a little bit, a bit of trouble keeping up with this Loane so far. We'll see how he, how he manages to uh, to work. The unblockable? I mean, just hit the guard button, though. Ow, ow, ow. That's an eight, eight, eight of an overhead. You know, it's, a, it's just a side switch. Big avatar damage coming. I mean, one more hit will certainly kill here in the corner. What's the move? Reset? Okay, no. Go for the immediate. I, I think you actually could have probably spot dodged off of that, to be honest with you. You can spot dodge Loane's uh, parry. It's, it's so slow. You can spot dodge it off of so much stuff, right? The Diva's far end. You can still spot dodge afterwards. All right, here we go. One more touch will kill Able 2 here. Iggy, Iggy, Iggy. No, Human Pyramid wanted to go for that instead. Okay, hold on. Oh, and I see why. The immediate low. Wait, that's actually kind of nasty, right? Like, yeah, it's not really that much of an obscuring, but the Catabot kind of hides their knees a little bit, right? Again, Luane playing Dragon Ball Fighters more than anything there. Just putting so much shit on the screen, you can't see what's happening. Great stuff by Kimo. A very, honestly, a very clean set. Very commanding set there. Very commanding 2-0 versus Faith. Faith playing incredibly well so far today. But Kimo just kind of went in and cleaned house, you know? On the unblockable. Oh, that's the, yeah, that's the unblockable. That's that one for sure. So great stuff to Faith. Go, goes out of fourth place right there. A great run from them. But that is going to be Kimo taking it. And there you go. Laser Ruin already on his way for our next match here. Losers Finals. Here we are, folks. We have made it back down to our top three of this week. Our, our largest tournament yet. 47 entrants. And we have Lazy Ruin on the near versus Kimo on the Loane right here. Of course, whoever wins this, Hero waiting in winner's finals, or sorry, a winner's side of grand finals for whoever uh, whoever wins this. But for now, let's focus on the here and now. We got a best of five upcoming here. And so far, a very good start to the game for Lazy. Brick channel betting when? I'll figure it out between uh, now uh, between now and the next stream, which will be like two weeks from now. I'll try and figure it out. I, I, it's all it's all enabled. That's, I just have to like turn on the, the knobs, you know? I got to have the options for people to use channel points for that. Well, sir, we will have that. Uh, you know what? How about this? This will help me keep, keep me accountable. I'm telling you here on the video in the stream, next week we will have channel point betting. Yes, yes, I know, I know. I just, I, I just haven't actually set it up. Or sorry, not next week. So not, we're not running the bracket next week. Two weeks from now, you will have channel points betting on deck. I promise you. Okay, hold on. It's a nice little combo starter for Loane here. Use skill starter, big damage. Not a lot of health on near either, and the throw is baited out. Out, out. Sure. One more touch even from Loane should do it. Not to celebrate with friends. Peace. Have fun, Faith. Well done. Great stuff this week from you, man. Okay. So much damage coming out here. 50-50. I don't need to deal with 50-50s at all, man. Iggy, Iggy, Iggy. Iggy, save me, Maharaga. You know, save me. Maharaga, please, fuck. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, no. Landed right into the, the green ball there after the air unblockable stones got his ass. Iggy, Iggy, Iggy. Taking that round back down for Kima right there. The Mario Party minigame, man. It is such an effective way for Luane to close out those rounds. Iggy combos? That's what I'm talking about. Holy shit. 6-6-H, no counter hit, though. Get green ball? So true. Counter hit 6-6-H right there. Or sorry, no counter hit on 6-6-H. So it's like not that much reward coming out of it for Kimo. Somehow, by the way, I looked away and Kimo's lost all their health. Any knowers? Whoa, wait. The Rockets went clean through the U, the 2-1-4-U and so did Luane. Actually got a punish on 2-1-4-U there. Very clean by Kimo. Brave counter baited out. No, no benefit from Lazy, but no punish, at least from Kimo. No death on deck. 6 is going to whiff. But he, ah, Kimo tried to punish a little bit too aggressively right there. Could have had that punish. I mean, actually couldn't have had that punish, right? Death held him in place for too long. They tried it regardless, and they got mashed on. Lazy's taking that first game down. But still, best of five here. So at least two more games to play right there. It's a frame kill? Huh? That makes a lot of sense. They're like, why is Nier's whiffing 6 xm all the time? Yeah, so yeah. There was, there was there was no opportunity for Kimo to do anything right there. That was a planned frame kill. Good to know. There's, just, there's too much tech to keep track of with Nier, man. This character has like more tech and setups than like literally any other character in the game. It's indeed a frame kill, but Liz doesn't know that. I mean, I don't think he did that on accident, no? He tried to cross up. You think so? I know, because Liz keeps trying to hit me with it. Liz is getting disrespected by other members of Nier Nation in the chat right now, but it happens. It's fine. He's dead here, I'm pretty sure. Just raging strike. Yeah, keep it nice and simple. Here. Ow, ow. <laughs> yes, I'll take your word for it, I guess. Lazy, definitely more of... He's, he's an incredibly fundamentally sound near, but yeah, maybe maybe not quite on the same level of tech as some of the other ones. Who knows? He, get, he gets he gets by on this, like, insane godlike fundi fundies and neutral. Ow. All right, sure. Runs up and throws that. 
keep getting murdered by one. Fair enough. Oh, okay, we're just gonna beat that out. Interesting. Brave counter coming out from Laser right there. 2-3-6-U on the meaty just for like plus a billion right there. And a bunch of chip damage too. And this should be a dead chemo. I'm pretty certain. Indeed it will. Nice conversion. Potato near again. So true. All right, let's see. Not set point for Lazy yet, by the way. Again, this is best of five. Even if Lazy wins this one, he's got to go win at least one more. There's a 6XM cross up. Oh no, Kimo not ready for it. Not sure if that was a high or a left right to hit them there. They're hitting the guard button. It was definitely the high low. Oh, and then another mix right away. Enjoy your poker game, AJR. And a perfect seven golden letters coming out for Lazy Ruin right there. You know, that is what Nier does to you sometimes, right? It's just you get hit once in neutral, which is very easy to do against Nier because her neutral is amazing. Her neutral is like, you know, close to best in the game. Right? But then she just, it goes into 50-50, into 50-50, into 50-50, into 50-50. It's looping, looping mixed situations, and you just die. And you just die. And that's exactly what happened to Kimo right there. Great stuff by Lazy. Enforcing that game plan very well. To go up 2-0 here in the set. Here's the Catabot. Potato near again, again. Yes, yes, yes. The U Catabot there, the funniest looking combo in the world. Counter hit close H starter right there. I, he should be dead, right? Rating strike into Human Pyramid? I think so. Yep. Here we go. We're doing it. Babonk, da donk, shabonk, kakronk, babonk. And Madonk, you know, you, you, you know how it goes, you know how it goes. Did Kimo get double ice cream? Yeah. That's a, that's a whole lot of meter there for sure. All right. Kimo not trying to go quietly into that good night just yet. Ow. Once again, the parry getting thrown out there. At least he's getting a good sense for when Kimo wants to throw out these parries, right? The high bro and the low bro coming out right there. Both get murdered by death immediately. What's the move? Text to throw the Aki way. Good stuff by Kimo. Almost got punished for their parry triggering again there. Unfortunate thing when you parry death like that, right? 2, 3, 6, U, plus a billion and like, you know, a good 5% of your health and chip damage gone right there. Trying to eat out is is loin. I feel him. There's all that food coming in. Spaghetti? I saw I, I saw spaghetti. That was a lot of healing. God damn. Kimo having great food RNG right now, I tell you what. And it's taking him a long way. Getting, getting this corner combo going. Nice damage there as far as Loane is concerned, anyway. Ow. Sure. Oh, actually, I think, once again, I think could have gotten punished for that parry there. I'm not certain, though. Right, it seems like Lazy could have acted in time to hit him. Maybe he wasn't certain whether or not the parry would actually whiff. There's the low, guesses right, does chemo. Now no death on the side of Lazy, but Lazy is so good at living without death, in my experience. Loane's a tricky character, though, to defend yourself against, so it's a, you know, it's a give and take here. 6-6-M, six, six, oh no! Again, I'm telling you, man, this is something that, like, Lazy Ruin does this better than almost, basically, I mean, better than any near I've seen, at least, right? He just does not die when death is up. It is, like, Nier should not be a character without death. Lazy is so damn good at just staying alive, even putting pressure on you when death isn't around. It's it's kind of crazy. Okay, well, set point now. Set point here, potentially, for Lazy Ruin. Nier shouldn't be a character at all. Yes, you know, each, it's each their own. Lazy's probably the best deathless, deathless Nier that I know. Uh, same, yeah. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, I think this is. I think this might be a dead Kimo, man. Only, yeah, he's dead for sure. Only two cards on near here. Huge damage on the SBA. Oh my god, actually not for sure, apparently, but 6-6-M. Six, six, Good old 6-6-M. Six, six, it is how it is. The classic near round ender game closer round stealer. That's going to be 3-0 for Lazy Ruin right there. Great stuff by Kimo. Looking incredibly strong all week here in this tournament. But, unfortunately, that it, Lazy wants that run back, man. He wants that run back. Shiro beat him just barely, and he wants it back. He's got a big... It felt good not getting wiped. He did great, Kimo. He did great. But yeah, he's got he's got a long road ahead of him with, with Shiro, though. All right. He got, uh, we got, he's got to win two sets in a row here. We'll move on to Grand Finals right now. All right, here we are. Back for Grand Finals here. So we've got Lazy Ruin coming from the other side of the bracket here, and Shiro, obviously, in winner's side of Grand. So we just saw Lazy earn the rights for Grand Finals a second ago against Kimo right there. So obviously the way this works, if you're unfamiliar, right, this is a best of five, but it could be up to two best of fives possible, right? It's a double, it's a double el elimination tournament, which means you have to, you have to lose twice to get out of the tournament. Lazy has lost one set so far throughout the tournament, uh, two exactly Shiro actually. Uh, Shiro has not dropped a set just yet. So how it's gonna work is that Lazy has to win this best of five and then another best of five, two in a row, to beat Shiro here. Shiro only has to lose, has to has to beat Lazy once. If Shiro wins this best of five, or if Lazy wins the second one, the first one, and, and Shiro wins the second one, it's oh, Shiro wins, right? It's a huge advantage coming in on Grand Finals winner's side here. I mean, Shiro's earned it. They by not dropping a set the entire time. Counter hit six six eight is gonna be a crumple state there for Cagliostro. Full combo. I don't think I even knew that, but Fuse didn't enter this one. Yeah, Fuse, uh, Fuse. Basically, he won ten in a row, and he was like, you know what? I'll take a break. Let's see who else wins. Fight don't come. So, oh, uh oh, uh oh. 
Okay, we get there. I mean, on the bright side, that uh, please wait happened. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The please wait happened during a super. So it didn't affect anything too much right there. Lazy rage quitter? Oh, no. Not like, no, surely not. It's fine. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's internet problems. It's okay. Uh, but yes, so that, that, that please wait happened during a, uh, a super. So it's not like it affected anyone's ability to play the game or anything, but hopefully it remains a little bit more stable. We've had, you know, we've had no connection issues on stream, at least so far. So hopefully grand finals can, uh, can follow that trend, but we will see. I mean, when Lazy and, and Shiro played earlier, the connection was also fine. But yeah, game one goes down to Shiro right there. Honestly, a pretty qu qu uh, quick and clean game one also. Dull cause combos once again into the trap. He's so good at, at, at knowing how far those skills carry, man. He does not miss. Carrying over to the traps right there. Okay, sure. Hip thrust coming, at, uh, coming out once again. Huge damage here from the corner in Cagliostro. Uh oh, or uh, in the corner from Cagliostro is what I meant to say. Ars Magna once more. So funny about an attention, please wait message. I don't know why, especially like as you're as you're like charging up a super, right? It's a, it's a good time. I mean, Shiro's looking pretty clean here. Looks like he's, he might have a, you know, a good idea of how Lazy fights. Might have Lazy's number here. We'll see. All right, sure. 2 1 4. Makes sense. Ow, ow, ow. Understandable. 2 2 M right there. Just plus a billion. All that set up there for Lazy. And the Raving Strike right away. Shiro not ready for it. Oh. Okay. Rave counters it once again. 2 1 4. You going to combo off this? Yes, you are. This should be a very dead Cagliostro, I think. Yep. Indeed. It will. All right, hold on, hold on. Lazy not trying to get, uh, you know, go quietly into that good night. Just get rolled over here. Uh oh, please wait. I waited, I waited. Okay, good. I, I've heard that good things come to me if I wait. That's what I've been told anyway. Good interrupt there by Shiro. So familiar with when you have to blow up death, right? Knows when the gaps are, are real and when they're not. Oh, once again, the cross up there. Shiro, I don't think was hitting the guard button. Maybe to start to jump out or something. Uh oh, please wait. Does not affect Lazy's ability to confirm his combos. We love to see it. Okay, he, 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 still, he still goes for that. 2H. Oh, no. No anti guys coming out. Lazy was too bit too committed to a button right there. Brave counter into 2360 once again. A punish? A punish? Interesting. And that thing's minus. Is it? Uh, it is, oh, no. It's, it's minus on hit. It's punishable on block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. Makes perfect sense. And then Death wasn't around uh, Wasn't around for long enough to cover him there. Good knowledge check by. Or good knowledge. Not, not check by Shiro there, I guess. Good near knowledge uh, application. I suppose. But there's 2 to you. And you are very dead, I'm pretty sure. Raging Strike, Raging Chain, that's still on deck here. Oh no, combo limit, hold on. Just barely alive. One death stock left on Lazy. What's the move? Traps put up, but the DP, you see that? It's so close. It just barely reaches out there, grabs Hero, and gives that first game, or the second game rather, over to Lazy Ruin right there. You know, it's, 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 a, it's a long road that he's got to go over, but it's a good start. It's a good start. That DP was smart, apparently. Okay. Shiro taking a breath once again. Tends to do this between matches, it seems. Trying to, you know, compose themselves, make sure everything's good. I mean, minus six, still punishable on block, that's fine. Ow, ow. Okay, a lot of chip damage coming out from near already. Fine. Little rock, rock throw. Rock throw? Yeah, rock throw. I don't know, the move's got a name, I'm sure. I'm just gonna call it, I'm gonna call it rock throw, it's fine. Okay, 6-6-M, six, six brave counter. He doesn't want to deal with any of that nonsense, does Shiro. Gets immediately hit out. Of whatever he's gonna do. I think it was 6 6M that he was going for there, right? Maybe? Looks like it. Maybe it's a jump in general. Regardless. Got blown up. Oh, the brave counter, the brave counter, the brave counter. Here we go. Thrown into there. The grand blue fancy versus rising right there. This is so much damage. And of course, no brave points on this SSBA at this point. Oh my god. This is a good 70%, 80% of Nier's health coming out here. Yeah, more like 70, I guess. But so much damage. Holy crap. No brave points on lazy either, but just wake up, MASH. Are you for real? The man has no fear. The man simply does not fear Shiro's Cagliostro, apparently. The wake-up close L. The hard call out there. Works out incredibly for Lazy. Takes that round down. Okay. Nice interrupt on death uh, pressure once again by Shiro. So I'm going to say he knows what's up. Imagine fearing something? I guess I guess so. I guess that's my bad. I'm just a little bitch. He just went for it. So true. 2 one 4 You super jumped over with authority there by Shiro. Went clean over that damn thing. Okay. Sure. Yup. Oh, can't mash there. Lazy coming in with a 6XL. Shiro gets counter hit for his trouble right there. Walk up throw, text up the, the red way there, so of course a little bit less, a little bit less HP. As a result, toilet's gonna be a counter hit. Not too bad though. It's got oh, the grand blue handshake. Here we go. The whiff throw, whiff throw. It's another whiff throw, but not a sec, not a, not a fourth one, unfortunately. But of course, if nobody got my back, then of course 2 2 you got my back. At least as a near player. I I'm 2 2 you ain't got I don't even got a 2-2 input, dog, but. 
Layer 1 set up on Oki, Layer 2 bait DP on Oki, Layer, layer 3 Meaty to bait Mash on Oki. I, I don't even know, man. I, I, don't think, I don't think Meaty is, is Layer 3, to be honest with you. It's like Meaty's Layer 1. They, like, they've gone back, like, uh, Meaty's to bait Mashes is like Layer 1, right? They just, they've, like, they've gone back to Layer 1, which makes it level 4, apparently. Out, out. Okay, so Lazy now 2-1 on, on a path to a reset here. I mean, technically still behind in this grants because Serious comes in with a whole set advantage on him. But if Lazy wins this game, it's a reset. All right, fine. Bar H there in the corner. Nice 2H and the Raging Strike conversion keeping it nice and simple right there. Out. Fine. Ooh, far H, but no conversion because Death is gone. Maybe could have Raging Strike or something? Out, out, out. Okay. Oh, the whiff throw, but no punish from Lazy. Tried to Brave Count or something, I think, and ended up getting the Raging Strike there. It worked out, but yeah, could have gotten a punish into, into, into a kill. Instead, he's gonna die here for his trouble to this SSBA from Shiro. All right. Potentially here, Shiro, I mean, Shiro's still uh, a ways off. This is not set a tournament point for them. They're, they're one game away from that being the case. Once, I wonder what the Round Star Basketball Dunk is, is trying to represent there for Lazy. Seems like it just kind of it, it gets death killed unless Shiro uh, represents their offense a little bit easier, right? Well, but I'm sure that, I'm sure he has an idea of what he's doing. I just don't know it. Okay. Oh, nice, uh, nice spot dodge on the brave counter right there. Baited out. A resource waste, unfortunately, by Shiro there. That's his SBA again, going for more brave points. Right. Wants to damage, but even more so, wants one brave point here on Shiro. Fine. The throw. So little health on Shiro. Now even chip damage becomes a really big problem against Nier. Only two death stocks on Lazy though. Uh oh. Okay, gets the wall bounce off the U-hip thrust right there. It's going to be big damage into a, into a potentially scary situation on Wake Up here. Side switch with the 2-2-H. Trap set. Trap set. The cage is here. What's the move? Oh, the, the shimmy tried to bait out a throw bait there. Or a throw tech. And there is the throw coming from Lazy instead. Nice. It's the run-up throw on top of the trap. God damn. And here we go. Set point. Or not set. Yeah, set point, but reset point for Lazy Ruin right now. If he wins this round, we go back to a whole new best of five. Where both of them lose this out of the bracket, and either one will, oh, either one winning that set will end the tournament. Can't lose you do it. We'll see. I mean, he's looking strong so far. Exclamation mark, Blyle. What, what, what does he have to do with this, man? Blyle ain't nowhere on screen. He hasn't been on screen for a long, he hasn't been on screen like this whole tournament, actually. Which is like everyone? What the hell? What, what's Nezu doing in here? Hello, Nezu. Ow, ow. This is, uh, death? I, I, I actually don't know. No death on here? I don't think so, right? No, it is the auto combo. I thought they would compliment earlier than that. God damn. Ouch! All right, well, there's a reset. God damn, lazy making it look, but make it look relatively, uh, relatively clean there, right? Looking very confident in this matchup. It's the copy pasta for when it went against the top five in the corner. Just looking until I saw someone up play cag. That's okay. Yeah, the cag down player, indeed, indeed. It's okay. Cag players, they think their character is ass. It happens, I suppose. It works. It's not a crime to have a different opinion about a fighting game. That's okay, as long as you're being respectful about it. That's okay. Um. Anyway, reset. Let's see. So obviously this, it, that is not it. Lazy was on loser side of the bracket right there. Right, so now both of them have dropped down to loser side. So now I guess I guess I'll, I'll call this I'll call this true grand finals. Why not? Just for some a little bit more a little bit more fanfare, a little bit more, you know, a little bit more nonsense coming in here. There you go. True grand finals. So this at this point, one set to rule them all. Two two should be plus one twenty seven instead. Just lock someone down into the cutscene blocks them. Plus uh yeah, two two to the uh two to the six minus one or whatever. To the, to the two to the seven minus one. That's all. But yeah. Kaga, oh, yo, blast! What's going on, man? Kaga has issues serving on the lower end of the higher characters. Makes sense. People like he doesn't have any strengths though. It's okay. Yeah, Kaga players think that their their characters bottom five. Yeah, yeah. Nezu thinks Kaga's bottom five. It's fine. It's, it ain't a crime to be wrong about your character. That's that's it's okay. Out, out, out. All right. Here we go. Kaga run, run her corner pressure right here. Owie. See so at this point. I should force you to read the Kag essay? I'm not interested, to be honest with you. I don't think you can force me to do anything. That's... Owie. Owie. This is big damage going on. Goddamn. I mean, obviously near with 15k HP. Owie. You're dead. Indeed you are. Okay, okay, hold on. Good stuff by... I mean, it can be a little bit uh, mentally booming sometimes to get uh, to get blown up by, by in a reset, right? I mean, it wasn't like it was blow... She sure, sure put up a good fight, right? It was a 3-1. It was a reset, right? Losing your, your grand finals advantage like that. It can, it can be mentally uh, damaging sometimes, but you know, Shiro clearly has not let it get to them too much. Got a short memory going on here. Owie, owie. Fine. Ooh, nice sweep. Lazy now in the corner here. Lazy has the dad combos endearingly. Yes, apparently so. 
Okay, nice little combo coming out from Shiro here. One more touch, if he gets a good one anyway. Should definitely be the kill on Nier right here. With all this meter dump into Raging Strikes or SBA or what have you also. Fine. 2-2-U, two, two understandable. Plus 27 on block. Fair and balanced. Oh, and the Raging Strike set up right there. No Brave Points now on Shiro means that honestly the next touch from Lazy will probably kill too. 214. They nerfed that shit. You actually can't spot dodge it now, thankfully. Okay. Couldn't convert into anything right there. The toilet, though. Gonna save Shiro's life. Understandable. Oh, no. Okay. No death on the side of Lazy. This could be scary. He's got him in the corner, at least, though. Shiro being very patient right there, but just eats another throw. I, was, I, I had a feeling like that throw. I thought Lazy was gonna do throw into immediate throw again, but no. Uh, Shiro did figure out, didn't get, didn't, uh, well, he didn't do that, but Shiro did eventually get hit by two throws, though. Fan that off, so, you know, I, I was partially right, I suppose. My, my, my read was, uh, was halfway there. Okay, so, tied up one-to-one -one in rounds here. I mean, who, the person who takes the first game in this reset is definitely going to be, uh, Deathless Nier, Lazy, Loki, better than normal Nier? Maybe, maybe. Why Shiro played defensively against Deathless Nier? Uh, it might be, it might be defensively against Lazy Ruin, to be honest with you, because, Laz like, Lazy's Deathless Nier is, like, scary, man. Uh, but yeah, he, he, de he definitely does seem to do that in this matchup. When, when, uh, when Lazy doesn't have death up, he plays, like, more defensively almost than when he does. And the Brave counterbaited out there near his corner pressure. So suffocating, just so much ship damage, just, just even, not, even if you don't get hit, right? And eventually, Lazy finding the, the hit there, runs up and throws him when he's in chip distance. Yeah, he's also in the corner. In that case, true. He did it in the mid-screen before also. That's, that's right, that's right. Um, but he, he did it in mid-screen earlier, too. It, it seems to be, like, Shiro's sort of idea there is to, uh... It also Nier with no death still has good buttons? Yeah, it's true. Her buttons do get worse, though. If she has, like, good buttons instead of, like, god buttons, which is what she normally has, right? Nier's buttons, yeah. Without death, Nier's buttons are good. With with death, her buttons are, like, ridiculous. But what happens? Uh, possibly that Shiro just didn't, was taking a breath to, to rematch. It's fine. Even a neutral seems like he prefers to wait for death to come back. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm, not sure. I'm sure he has his reasons. I am curious, though. I mean, it is it is weird, right? It's, it's almost, I guess it is like a strange like like you know how Nier's gonna play with death sometimes, right? I guess without death, it becomes like weirdly volatile. I don't know. I don't know. I wonder what Shiro's reasons are. Regardless, though, all these reasons. Lazy taking that first game down there. Now we're here. Here we are. One zero. Howie. Gotcha. So again, if Lazy wins the set, it's all over. At this point, this set throw the last set out. This set is now for the tournament, right? Whoever wins this wins the whole thing. So Lazy off to a 1-0 lead here is very good for him. Okay, you hip thrust right there. Not gonna wall bounce from that far away. Does not wall bounce in mid-screen, unlike some other uh, use skills like that. Ow, ow, ow. Sure. Okay. Oh, getting getting Shiro out of that situation, but just right back into it though. Gets counter it on the walk-up. Now you know, you spent that meter and now you're still in the near pressure in the corner right here. Ow. I have no idea where masters don't do raw supers. I wish they would sometimes. Yeah, it's because people, people like people will, uh, people save jab you or like bait it out or save jump you or anything like that. Like way too often to make it like it's uh, people do it sometimes, but it's it's, it's very risky, right? It, it's such a ooh, it's such a big resource swing too, right? If, if even if you don't die, you spent a hundred meter and a lot of your life, right? So it's not just the it's such a huge commitment of resources that people are oftentimes not super comfortable doing it, but. It, people do do it sometimes, for sure, though. Yeah, Leia's right. People do definitely reversal super, even in even in tournament play, but... Points at Able, Bubs, Oliva? Yeah, yeah. Ow. It's command grab supers for the most part, for sure. Yeah, because it was here after the flash. Why don't the Master Nears ever parry? Uh, I mean... Loses to throw, I guess. But also, it's, yeah, it's, it's another... It's just another one... Like, it's a 100 meter commitment for not very much return, right? Possibly, if, if they block it for you. Anyway, I mean, I, I, I gotta stop looking at chat, because Lazy is up 2-0 now. I mean, he's on the verge of just completely... If he 6-1s this, I'll be a very dominant Grand Finals so far. Imagine so let's see. We could make someone That's the other thing too, right? Nier has the best use skills in the game. Period, point blank, end of sentence, right? So even like having the meter to SBA, is like, it's like what you did something wrong, almost. Alright, so Lazy now one game away here, potentially. Fine. No meter to follow up on the rating strike there. Probably a bit of a force of habit to rating strike in that circumstance from Lazy. Or maybe just wanted the knockdown and the pushback, possibly. Okay. HDP there. Nice call outs. I remember you can combo off that shit. What a time to be alive. When 2 2 exists, there's not much reason to save meter. Yes, exactly. When you have the best ultimate skill in the game by like a landslide, why would you ever have meter for SSBA? Okay, sure. Shiro getting this guy. I mean, it's getting kind of scary for Shiro at this point. He only have, he doesn't have that much time left to adapt to Lazy here and try to figure something out. Okay, 2 one for you. Sure. Oh, no. I think you're dead. Yeah, still have the time to, to, to have one more card there. Enough to cancel into the 2-2-H right there and gets the combo. 
This is, uh, this is getting dangerous. Tournament point here for Lazy Ruin. Active Ruin? Yes, indeed. So this, this could be very risky here. I mean, Shiro at this point, they, they had a huge advantage going to Grand Finals. Blazing has been playing so well in this CAC matchup. Firmly ahead at this point, one round away. Lazy was our first ever Wall Brawl winner. Will he be our first and 13th? Possibly. Could happen. Could happen to you. Oh no, and the Brave kind of gets baited. I don't think you're dead, are you? Are you dead? Is, is it already over? Did Lazy just win? No, I don't think so. He's not, he doesn't have it yet. It's a mix right away in the 6. 6. M. As above, so below. As it began, so shall it end. 6. 6. M. The classic. The near classic right there. They love finishing off games with that 6. 6. M. And it's, you know, in, again, in theory, hey, 26 frames, right? Pretty reactable, but nope. It's, there's so much other shit to watch out for when Nier is, when Nier is uh, pressuring you, right? It's just so tough. It's so tough. That's a good point, yeah. Nier winning the 13th wall brawl. God damn. The 13th death cards, the 13th wall brawl goes to a Nier. What a time to be alive. Fuselet won 10 times in a row. He takes a week break and Lazy comes back to be our... Actually, another... We didn't, we didn't get a new winner this week. Lazy won the first wall brawl. Right? It was... It, Lazy won the first one. Gabagool won the second one. And then Fuse won every other one since. And now Lazy won this one, so... We still have only had three winners of the Wall Brawl, even in, in, in uh, the Open one at least, in 13 tournaments. What a time to be alive. All right. You say your head hurts? Hello, Lazy. How's it going? As soon as the match was over, I screamed in the top of my lungs. <laughs> I, you, listen, man. You, Shiro, Shiro, actually, your only set that you dropped in the tournament was two Shiro, right? So the comeback and like yeah, basically that. like 6 1 in that grand finals was very good. So some solid yeah, no, for me. The thing is, Shiro has been recently a personal demon of mine recently. Well, there you go. So to be able to do this, fuck, it felt amazing. <laughs> well, I'm glad. I'm glad. Listen, the, 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 I, I, in grand finals, that was one win and that was it. I refuse to let him have another. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, it, it can get away from you through it. It's, it's, it can be mentally exhausting, especially you have to go down from the other side. You played so many sets in a row, right? It could just. It, it get, wasn't get really very, a. Uh, well, yeah, no, fair enough. Chemo and then Shiro twice. I was about to say because I was I was in winners for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess yeah, it's not yeah, it's not it's not as bad. It's not like you went because you went down winners finals, yeah. So it's just it was, it was Shiro Chemo Shiro, right? And I guess two yeah. sets with Shiro also. So you, you don't want to let it go longer than it had to, I suppose. Yeah. But yeah, congrats. So oh. I, I, thought, I thought this week, you know, like Fuselet's not here. We could get like a different winner. No, we actually have you. You are a repeat winner again. You know, you, you won. You won the first one. Gabo won the second one. Me? Fuse won every other one since. So now you win the thirteenth one on near. How poetic! Me? Yeah, no, it was definitely poetic to win this one right here. And then this is the big one that since people are not going to be here for a week. True. Yeah, it's all you won the last one before you take a break. Uh, next week, I'm I'm basically on fire, so I'm not going to be able to run any any brackets. Mm. But the week after that, I hopefully, hope... we'll be right back with with more wall brawls. Yeah, I hope you deal with it all well. No, it's Good okay. News. I actually got um Twitch affiliate status. Oh, look at you! Congrats, man. Yeah! Amazing. You're gonna you, you, you make some money now. <laughs> I'm actually really excited for the Friday stream tomorrow because I'm gonna be doing um, the King of the Castle game I talked about. Oh, oh god. The, what, what is that? Is that, is like King, the King of the Hill, you mean? Yeah. Ow. So the game where chat basically acts as like the noble. No. Oh, I autopiloted into mix up. I'm dead. <laughs> Oh, yeah, God. you were screwed anyways. Yeah, yeah, chip damage but, against Nier, doesn't work out. Yeah, you basically, one side plays like the king, the streamer, and then the rest are like nobles that are trying to overthrow the king. Oh, yeah, 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 yes, yes, you told us. It's a, it's a board game, right? It's a Twitch game. Oh, interesting. Friday stream tomorrow, it's already Friday, what do you mean? Europe moment? <laughs> oh, yeah, Europe. Ow. Get away from me. Whoa! Really? I thought I could, I thought I could kill death right there. Is that because did, you did a use skill or, or was I it where you just screwed anyway? Oh, okay. Skill, so. death is invincible. Yeah, yeah. Bonk. Ah! Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Ah. Yep. Would've been nice. Would've been good damage. Oh, far H reaches from there, right? So true. Owie. <laughs> Australian spotted? Uh, Silver's European, I think. Not Australian. I don't know. I don't, I don't know oh, from yeah. where. Oh, yeah. Is that the thing where, like, Australians are all time travelers? Surely, some uh, uh, probably. I don't know, man. They're all they're all they they, they all sound like uh, they're from a different time period, to me anyway. Oh, nice. Unfortunately, I had six hotel, so yeah. I had the better plus. Yeah, yeah. Also, I mean, also six frame close cell is a bit of a problem there for sure. Uh, I messed up the high. Thankfully, I didn't mess that up in the actual tournament. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's it's, a, it's all. Oh god. It's a plug finals. No, no, nothing. Nothing. Nothing serious here. You want the you want the bracket? You can relax a bit. Let your brain recover. Sure. Nice. You wouldn't download a car. Bonk, bonk. Uh, I don't know, man. Sure. 
Understandable. Have a nice I day. so thought you were going to. Um, what? What oh, no. you did it so late. I did it so so. Well, I was trying to do it late. I was trying to do it late enough. The lady will like turn around, but it's not. It doesn't work that way, huh? No. I thought maybe I could. Yeah, it too, the death just holds you in the in the one direction. I have been using two three six use so much more recently. This I move saw that. is swept on. I really don't think it is. I think everyone. I think everyone agrees that it's like maybe your second best use skill. It's just two two you. Yes, but it, everyone's so focused on the two two you at the moment. It's but use the two to, yeah. Ow, ow. Use the two together, however, and you get one of the most dangerous combos. Oh yeah. That's why Nier is so scary. She has all of these. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like it's not like two one four H. It's like it's, it's definitely or two one four U is, is like worse. Oh no. It's supposed to be uh, 214 is like worse than it used to be for sure, but it's still like a really good U skill, right? Yeah, no, 214 is like necessary in the CAG matchup. Yep, yep. I just saw you beat him by using 236U alone and said, yeah, this shit good? Possibly. <laughs> I'm having a hard time right now, I tell you what. Uh oh. Oh! Oh god, what the hell? DP, call me. You were pressing a lot. Indeed, because you, you are doing DP. What can I say? Good job, hacking. Ah, uh, fair enough. Yeah. Predictable. Howie. Howie. Cool. Cool. Predictable. You're mine. Sammy. Your buttons are so big, man. I don't know what to do. Oh, God. Uh, that can't be intentional, can it? Oh, no, it was. Oh, I okay, was okay, trying okay. to DP it. I thought oh. if I pressed instant DP, you, you would press like a 2M or something. Yeah, yeah, No, most of the installs are just like straight up punishable if you do them, in, uh, do them raw like that, right? Oh, yeah, no. I'm aware. It's like I have my own mix up with that, where I'm expecting you to do like an aggressive option. I see. I mean, Laird is about the most aggressive option I can do. I keep six excelling into that. Oh, God. Far H bonks me on top of the head there. I tried to jump out. Yep, 50 50. Even in the corner, man. So sad. Yep. On the right side, I'm alive. Uh, if only the barely. The, um, the corner variation requires um, a delay. Interesting. I just like, yes, you gotta let the it. person fall a bit. I just like can't contest far M. I'm just gonna die to chip over here, man. What am I doing? I'm, uh, somebody, yeah. Somebody help. Okay. Uh. Wait. What? Was? Why did? Why did I get a punish there? Huh? Oh, what do you mean? No. Wait. What? I'm so confused. It was so tragic. Wait. Did I just not hit the button fast enough? I I think you just were too slow to press. Oh. Huh? Isn't it like minus thirty? That was LDP. Yeah. So I guess maybe it's like less minus, but. It's still hella minus. I feel like I hit close M like right away. Oh, I guess I just didn't get it. It's fine. Whatever. It happens. That is very tragic. Oh, Fuse wants to run out with you right now. Yeah, yeah, I think that's Fuse, A's, right? It's A space J space R. It's AJR, but it's the uh, the secret <laughs> arcade mode final boss version that you unlock. If you gotcha. Beat. Basically like the Nago and Crawl. Yeah, yeah, one exactly. Of exactly. Yeah, no, one of my proudest achievements was actually getting that um achievement. There's like only 1% of people have done it. To do what? Do like two round um, the perfect Nago thing. Oh, yeah. Without yeah, yeah. dropping a round. So true. He is pretty bullshit. Yes. Oh, man. Yeah, I guess you know, we're, we're, we're on the back. We're doing another Slug Finals here against, against the, the secret final boss of the tournament, Fuse. Let's see how you do. I mean, you're, you're, play, you're, you're, you're playing very well today. So this could be you, you say you and Fuse go back and forth all the time. It hasn't happened in Wall Brawl yet, but maybe you can right here. It doesn't happen in Wall Brawl, but it happens everywhere else. Yeah, so hey, maybe, this is the, maybe this is the time that it finally happens in Wall Brawl. We'll see. Ow. Nice spot dodge. Oh, sure. Yeah. DP the classic. Definitely says win this because I'd just be mad if you set it to win after Fuse retired. I mean, to be fair, Flux no, Finals Fuse and Bracket Fuse are a different. They're a different. Uh, they're di it's a different beast, you know. Ow. Oh wow, that completely whipped. Oh yeah. Fool. Predictable. You're mine. Ooh. Oh god. Counter hit H. It's like that? yeah. No, I was I was mashing. I thought he was gonna try to do a reset. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I feel like I've not seen Fuse try for a uh, go for a counter hit H all that often. The, the fact that Fuselet's gameplay is evolving is even is even more concerning for me. Same thing with Lazy too. Lazy got he got he got new U skills in the in the pocket. This is not good. Okay, sure. Minus on block looking at Agar Crush. Two three six U. What the hell? Great kind of work there. Interesting. Perk box extension on the six six M, I guess. Alright, sure. I think it was another throw. Oh, okay, not anymore. All this chip damage coming out from 236U right there. Guys, he's just dying to chip, man. Yep, yep. You have to do something. He's gonna die to chip. Mm hmm. Which is why I did the fastest option there. Fucking, and the option that breaks Soul Forge. Oh, wait, he didn't have Soul Forge. Never mind. Didn't matter. He did. He did? Oh, then the, the option that breaks Soul Forge also, right? 2 2U. Yeah. Now we. 
God damn. All right, hold on, hold on. He has no Soul Forge. He has no Soul Forge. He's not a character. He's not a character. The basketball dunk. They made you look. He doesn't fall for it. Uh, another turn is over. Mind if I tell you about something that happened today in the Brazilian Grand Blue versus community? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, uh, what happened? I guess actually. I think there's a hero. Um, interesting. I guess you know what? Let me. Yeah, sure. Why not? We'll we'll, we'll, put, we'll put this in the YouTube video. I guess. Sure. <laughs> I'm still recording it technically. Let's talk about it. As 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 the slug final is going on here, I'll, I'll run the outro and everything later. Once this is done, I'll talk to Lazy about uh, roll colors, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Oh my goodness! Good stuff. There we go. Good stuff. Okay, okay. One zero. I didn't BC at all because all of that was BC immune. Yeah, obviously the with Soul Forge boss. It, it is it is very good for sure. That boss can just like kind of ignore BC if he's got Soul Forge up. Uh, we had one player that won a circuit to receive the prize for Evo, but he was declined his visa. Oh. That is that, so That fucking tragic. sucks. Yeah. What the hell? That's so unfortunate. So you can't go to Evo. Ami Sensei is the best lad and player? Damn. Declined his visa. Yeah, I mean, that's why... So there's, there, there are some... Uh, there's, like, some organizations I know that, like, help, like, different fighting game players, like, actually make it over, like, travel to different places, things like that. Do you guys know anything that could be done for that? Again, like, I, unfortunately, I'm, I, I don't, but... I do know that in some, I, I have heard of some uh, organizations, right, that like help people like get visas and things like that. I mean, like your honestly, like your best bet is, if, if I don't know, man. So Fuse just spot dodged three times in the face in my face and was surprised when he got died for it. Listen, man, he just he's, he, he's trying to he's trying to hard call you out. Uh, but yeah, I, I honestly I don't know Musketeer. I'm sorry. I'm, I, it's not it's not really my point of expertise or anything. But I have heard of like, like there, I think there are, like groups of people or organizations of people that can help with that. I don't know if it's the kind of thing that, that is already final or something. Like he's, he's been declined. There's no other way around it. It sucks, though. That does suck. Um, unfortunately, right, I don't know hurt. much. Can't believe Sh Shiro pulled out Vasaraga in the true grand finals. So true. Want to see the Brazilian players to the world, and that could be our best shot. Unfortunately, that never happened. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's tough. I, I That really does. That really is bullshit. But I just I don't know, unfortunately, what you can do about that. Is he dead here? No. Yes? Yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna route like he is. Yep. Oh, combo limit. He's not. Okay. Okay. No oh, god, the U tackle. You want to the thing is, I'm pretty sure that was old command grab. Yeah, and he got but... crossed up. He got crossed yep. up, so he got U tackle. Ouch. All right, all right. Hold up, hold up. I guess you know. I guess while while I'm here, I'm not playing the game anymore. I might as well update the overlay and get us some some lazy fuse lit on the overlay okay, here. Nice. Ooh, predictable. Yep. You're mine. Uh, reset the score plus one. And let's call it. Let's call this thug finals. Why not? Right, let's, let's get let's get an actual uh, we, we got a whole extra set in here why not he could have been dead but lazy has bad combos now, hold on a minute yeah you see that in the chat all the nearest keep saying you have bad yeah, combos no i i am seeing it and i will say i am starting to get tired of it <laughs> that's about you listen not not if you, if you want to be a streamer you gotta get used to people being being toxic to you okay yeah <laughs> it's, no it's, it's that, the... I, that's what i'm that's what i'm thinking of it as yeah yeah you, get, you, you gotta if you want to be in the public image you're gonna be mean to you sometimes it's, it's, it's listen listen it's dad combos in parentheses endearingly is what they said. Yeah, okay? I know. So Don't worry. Fine. Fine. I know, I know. Yeah, nice. he was prepared for me to 6 6 M. Yeah. I did 2 0 meaty. He was standing up preemptively. Okay, hold on, hold on. 2 0, 2 0. Slug finals fuse? Just not built like bracket fuse, I'm afraid. Did Fuse play the tournament today? No, he did not. He won 10 in a row last week, and then he just took a break this week. So Lazy ended up winning this week. Also, hello, GBX. Nice to meet you. Well, not nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Hey, Doter, I, I had to beat Shiro in order to get this. Yeah, to reset his ass, too. But if you are annoyed by it, I don't mind stopping. What a nice, what a nice, respectful son. Ow. Thank you, Luca. Don't worry, I know. It was just, it was just because of the heat of the moment kind of thing. Yeah, like, like when you're playing in Grand, everyone keeps saying, Lazy, why are your combos so ass? Like, I can see that being annoying, for sure. Like, you're like, you know, it's game five for the reset. Everyone's like, Lazy sucks. Yeah. Like, it's, that's, that's, it gets annoying. It gets annoying. I, I understand. 2M, sure. 2-2, two, two, you. Oh, yeah. Good old plus 27 on block that beats Brave Counter. <laughs> God damn it, man. What a move. What about mom combos? Do you want to, you want mom combos instead, Lazy? Possibly. Thug final set points for Lazy Ruin here, potentially. Put the Adidas slipper on death. The Chancla combos. Oh, oh no. I tried to nice wait a little. Nice wait there. Yeah, counter. Yeah, that was an amazing wait. Full combo. Oh my God, so much damage. Please, he was like, why? Okay, but now he's dropped in the corner here. 
Okay, well, trapped, quote unquote. Sure, you fireball. Wow, you know he had enough time. Oh, that's death. Yep. Predictable. I'm surprised he had enough time with the Soul Forge. Yeah. I guess he, he knows his gaps. Ah, oh, man. That's bad. I was hoping that the oh. air heavy could come Wait. in time. He was like dropping combos? He's washed? Excuse me? This feels like guy sucks? No. Oh, oh, what? He's, I thought he could get hit there for BCing. Had just enough of the invincibility left over, I guess. Yeah, that's what. I think that's big body privilege. Yeah, yeah, him and Lediva both have a little, a little bit more invincibility on the Brave Counter. Oh. Oh, that caught back that. Insane. Okay, okay, hold on. Still set point here for Lazy on the Thug Finals. Oh, baby. Ouchie. No break points on Fuse means if he gets clipped by anything here, he's probably just gonna die. Oh! Oh, the infinite armor. Good choice. One more throw. Oh, God. Even even with... Yeah. Yep, he tried to do something. Yeah. I think I think you hit him. Yeah, it's you tackle. You see the, the cool down there? He tried yeah. to do tackle, and you hit him meaty, so it didn't work well, out. Well, I, I free-owed Shiro, I free-owed Brick, I free-owed Fuse. There you go. That's it. He's, he's playing out of his mind today. My head hurts. His head hurts. What a time to be alive. Okay, awesome. Well... I think, yeah. I think my family just got some pizza, so I am eating good today. Oh, baby. The tournament went into the pizza. Nice, nice. Uh, okay, yeah, we, we can talk about uh, possible uh, video ideas, things like that later mm. if you'd like. To but... be fair, I am still working on the Jeopardy thing, but I also kind of do want to have that potentially for my channel. <laughs> That's also fine, yeah. Uh, you put a lot of work into it at this point. It's it, You kind of you kind of deserve it, right? But Yeah, no, I'm actually planning to turn some of the streams that I've done into like um, videos, like the Paragon Run and uh, the Fairy Disaster. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, what's the fairy disaster? I don't think I caught that. Um, when I when I jokingly thought I was going to be able to get to fairy master, but instead went all the way down to S+. Plus. Oh, I heard about this. Yeah, but I didn't see it happen I'm gonna live. Have, I'm going to have like these Paper Mario edits. Like, that's the idea. Okay, okay. Also, uh, Akazu, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Hey, also, yeah, by the way, twitch.tv slash LazyRuin. You know, he's won the tournament. I might as well. This guy, this guy streams also. You want to come? If you want to, if you want someone actually good at the video game, play it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we, we can talk about video ideas if you, if you got me. If you got one, like, Cocked and ready right now. We can certainly do it. Otherwise, you can just we can we can no, DM about it later. I don't even think about it because I did not come in with the intention to do that. I came in with the intention of just to play matches against strong players. And you see, well, yeah, that's, that's a lot of a lot of people who have won the tournament have said exactly that. When you don't like expo, you don't like have that sort of expectation, that arrogance, right? It actually tends to work out pretty well, as it turns out. <laughs> um, but yeah, well, okay. Well, here's something. Purple still for the roll, for the roll color in Discord, right? Yes, I lo I love the purple. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, well, I, I will say I've grown to like purple a lot because I was first like a red person, then a blue, and now I've kind of chosen purple as my brand those are all good colors i'm a big fan of, of all of those um yeah. yellow yeah honestly the only color that i'm not really a big fan of is like yellow you know like yellow feels like, yellow even gold. requires yellow requires a specific setup yeah like like even like gold is the best thing the yellow has to offer and even that it's like a little bit gauche you know, I, I don't know. yeah um but yeah, anyway, it, it, color enough, theory I, with lazy and brick. Exactly, yeah, enough color theory for now. This this YouTube video has been going on uh, for for too long here. So real quick before we head out here, yeah, congrats, sorry lazy. Sorry about that. Once again on the win. Um, yo, okay, I, I'm sorry, dog. Gone Hoff. <laughs> some of y'all, some of y'all names are just fucking consonants. It's just like seven consonants in a row, and you're like, hey, streamer, read my name. I don't know how to say that. Gone, <laughs> gone Hoff. P.S. How about that? Hello, Gone Hoff. P.S. Thank you for the follow, man. But yeah, yeah, I've made it this far in the video, as always. You know, the, the classic YouTube stuff. You know how it be. Uh, any, any likes, subscribes, bells, and that would be greatly appreciated. It does help. It does make a difference. To why I ask? Besides the algorithmic stuff, it also helps me know, like, hey, I like this video more. I like this video less, so I can make stuff you guys want to watch. That is my goal. At the end of the day. You can help uh, let me know with that sort of stuff. Also, you can join the Discord down there, like the description, if you want. Uh, if you were watching this whole video, you saw me ban someone live. So if you do join, be nice or I'll shoot you in the head. Uh, but if, if you are nice, it's going to be a nice place. You can hang out, make some friends. You, know, you got lazy in there, Fusil's in there. We got lots of top players. You want to learn the game. If you just want to hang out. This awesome. Yeah. Talk about card games, gotcha games, art, music, whatever the hell you want. You can come in and join. Uh, link in the description down there. But yeah, just be nice or I'll shoot you. Also, I'm streaming right now, live on Twitch. I will not be streaming next week. But if you if you want to go by, the link is in the description right there. Live ban was crazy. Indeed it was. Uh, so if you want to come hang out, right? I think you'll have a good time. The stream's going to be a pretty good time. Otherwise, if you, if you don't have the time, then you can just, if you could hop in there, drop a follow or something, I would greatly appreciate it. Again, any sort of support that you can show me would be appreciated. I guess while we're here too, twitch.tv slash laser ruin. Again, he, he won the tournament. Might as well plug him a little bit here. Uh, you do, you have, you, do you have a YouTube channel yet? Or are you still? Um, I currently still have like that YouTube channel, but I don't have any videos posted. I said like a few ones I did for Honkai Impact when I was a super fan. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sure. But no, this year has been honestly like a honestly almost a blessed year with like there with all the, the stuff that I've been doing. So it's honestly amazing to see. I'm even like getting something that I I have dreamed to do this summer. Okay, amazing. Well, I'm I'm glad to hear it, man. I, I look forward to seeing what uh, what you, what you what you cook up. 
Um, but yeah, real quick, I've been holding the YouTube fellas here for too long, so long, that's it. That's it. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys had a great time. As always, I love watching these tournaments, love commentating them, I love playing the Flug Finals, even though I usually do get my ass beat in the open bracket Flug Finals, but it's fine. We learn. For now, though, that's going to do it for me. Hope you guys hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.